Well, everyone, we knew what was going to happen. We called it. We predicted it. It was forecasted in the stars and written in the fabric of the universe that good old true empiricism would try to rewrite reality. So he just had a hangout. One sec. Uh, sorry about that. I had the uh, video playing in the background. I should know better than that. Um, so he just had a hangout, and among the many, many, many other things he just doesn't understand, he actually claimed that during our debate, he was not given enough time to talk, and that general had cut him off and wanted him to stop talk, talk, stop talking, mm. and that he was being literally cut off. Now, here's my my my, my challenge to anybody. Can you give me the timestamp for that? It was very, very um, clear that that neither one of us interrupted with each other. I did not interrupt him. He did not interrupt me. I did not ask for him to stop talking. I just in the, in the group chat, the only thing I said, and General here's here to validate that, is that I like one or two minutes to respond to it. And I even said he can continue on. Um, every time that that Ronnie stopped talking, General here actually said to him are you sure you're done do you want more time you, you you have a large amount of time ronnie kept saying no now reality check fast forward a few hours later ronnie's being cut off quote being cut off wow what a duplicitous disingenuous piece of fucking shit i don't even know where to begin at how this guy can actually seriously look in himself in the mirror and not think to himself, he is a dishonest piece of crap. Because say what you want about me, I don't care. But General did a magnificent job on trying to keep the time and trying to keep the, the topic focused. Because I had even said, I asked him, what is the topic, the name of the topic? What's the, what's the discussion about? And that's what I was trying to keep on. Ronnie didn't know what the topic was about. He didn't understand the topic, even though he came up with it. He had nothing prepared. He had no opening statement. He, he didn't even have a presentation and right in rebuttal. He didn't know about the debate structure. He had no idea what he was talking about. And then he goes on to blame his utter failure on General Han Solo. That, that I will not stand for. Because uh -oh. General had nothing... He did absolutely nothing wrong in this situation. He moderated, like a moderated post to, and he tried to suss out Ronnie's argument when it was appropriate to do so. Matter of fact, if anything, he was trying to help Ronnie. And I'm not just standing up for General because he's my friend. I would have stood up for this for anybody in a very similar situation. Ronnie tried engaging him and continued to try to engage him. And and what was what was General supposed to do? He was wanted him to to provide a model that was asked for by myself and by the audience, which he couldn't do, along with any other question he couldn't answer. So, yeah, I got I got um, Han Solo in here now. Anybody wants to join, just ask for the link. I'm not going to keep it open very long. But oh, I no. want I want, I want wanted to say to Jen Han Solo that, I mean, you should be slighted. You should feel so much disrespect from this guy right now to have the odd, for him to have the audacity to say that you were cutting him short. Wow. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, don't want to push wow. you around, bro. Just, <laughs> just don't I, push I don't even know what to say. I I I'm seeing uh C Brown's comment. General Han Solo just goes straight out to you and you know I'm just reading what he's writing there. I I honestly don't feel phased because um if I was in the wrong, okay, then you know you you, you can have a sense of un, uh, discomfort and and, and Maybe if, if I wasn't being truthful, then then fight the issue and, and try and debate the issue and, and uh, or admit that you're wrong. Um, but the fact that I have absolutely no feelings toward the issues because I'm not in the wrong. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and, and you know what? The only person that said you were is Ronnie and a couple of his ball washers who didn't even watch the debate. Fucking Antonio has not even seen it, and he's licking his taint like it's like it's uh. chocolate. Yeah, just in fact, just then, um, Antonio was telling. I think uh, your friend, who who is a philosopher, math philosopher. Anyway, uh, he he told him, "Oh, I need to go watch the debate and then make an opinion on it." And I kid you not, I actually did go and re-listen to uh, the Q and A bit, 
Um, now, what I advise people to do, if you really want to, you know, to the nth degree sort of thing, compare the length of Steve's talk and compare the length of True and Prism's talks with respect to the time given to each. So Steve stuck to his 15 minutes. Well, actually, he, he, he gave it within, like, giving a two minute, two or three minutes spare. True and Prism's main body argument was didn't even go for five minutes. And I told him, look, you have another 10 minutes to go. So then Steve gave, well, you guys went back and forth for about two rounds. And Steve, you, you gave a second presentation in, in your rebuttal. But there, there were moments where, for the sake of, you know, allowing Trumpism to talk even more, uh, I did allow him to go over time and I didn't say anything about it. And Steve in the side chat actually did ask me, hey, is it time? He, yeah, there was because one even time he Steve went a little bit sense. over, but yeah, that was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that, there was a sense where even Steve was going, Han Solo is allowing you know T True Prism to talk longer. You did, which is and fine. yeah. Now, if True Prism is is saying that I blocked him off or, or stopped him from talking, but that but that's right at the end though, because I specifically said you have twenty seconds. And I gave him f over a minute and 30 seconds he was talking. And then I said, okay, it's time. You, you know, you, you, you can't keep going. So I was, I was very generous, actually. Uh, now, just a, a quick thing on the um, my so-called debate, <laughs> that mm. the moderation of debate. Um, I specifically said, before I read out the Hugh Ross quote, both of you, I want comments from both of you, uh, reflecting Hugh Ross has just said. Obviously, Steve will say, yeah, I agree with that, because that's what I've been arguing. I'm expecting true empiricism to then hopefully admit to the fact that, yeah, you do need a model for that, and therefore, is there a model? He wasn't answering the question. So what I was doing was reflecting a moderator like someone like John Ankerberg, uh, he will. He may repeat the question two or three times, but I didn't. In this, this is key to understand. I didn't engage true empiricism. If you watch carefully, starts the engagement with me by asking me, "Hey, I'll answer with a question," and then then that discussion took place because he was engaging with me, rather mm -hmm. than just sticking to the format of answering the question. So I, and yeah. I kept pressing, like, okay, let's move on to Q&A. Let's, let's move on to Q&A. But obviously, Steve wanted to make a point, so I allowed him to, you know, a, an extra minute. And then I gave Trump Prism another minute. So look at the entire debate. I was very fair to both. And I was more, you know, you could say I was more fair to Trump Tr Prism in, in, in regards to certain time constraints. Hmm. Yeah, I understand that from an outside perspective, it does kind of look like you were engaging with him and you were really part of the debate. But now that you've had a chance to explain yourself, I think I'm seeing the other side. I didn't more. see that. I didn't see that at all. Um, what I saw was a moderator trying to get Ronnie on point, and that's what a moderator does. And and Ronnie decided to drag it out rather than just answer the damn question. Yeah, like that. That's how I'm seeing it now too. But originally, I was like, "Well, if he's a moderator, how much should he actually and be talking?" But I didn't. Well, I didn't watch the whole thing. So, with respect to the questions, and I and I, I was being very transparent. I was screen sharing my, you know, the stuff that I was reading out, and also the questions at the end. Now, I don't. I'm not to be blamed for the fact that there were no questions towards Steve. There were literally no questions. So I, I asked everyone in the outside chat. Uh, I gave them specific instructions, whether this is directed to Steve or True and Prism, and also number your question. Uh, everyone was doing that. I then copied and pasted the questions, put them in a Word document, screen shared it. Now, as a, as a moderator, how am I to react when True Prism says, "Oh, I'm I'm not going to answer this question. You know, you just end it now." It's it's how was I was supposed to react? Yeah, and somebody said, <laughs> you know, somebody had commented that, uh, "Oh, well, Steve was fine with it." Again, what was I supposed to do? 
I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to keep him around if he doesn't want to answer questions that we'd already agreed upon. Agreed upon, right? And, oh, and did you he did agree the, on the questions? You, but hang on, you did the fairest thing. You said, look, at all these questions are directed toward Ronnie, but I want both you guys to spend a couple minutes answering them. Yeah, two minutes each. Well, yeah. basically, if, if it's towards if it's if it's towards true imprecision, then I just I just you know chose a random figure out there, you know, two minutes uh, response and comment by Steve. Now maybe I sh then should have said uh, a a returning response for about thirty seconds or a minute by true imprecision, and yeah, that that is fair. I, I may I may I I should have then said that, but. Again, we agreed with a certain format. The format became quite plastic and and you know flexible, which again is fine. But I was still I being fair that. for both. Yes. And then at the end of the day, really, there's no argument given by True Imprecision, even as a moderator. Yeah, like, what could I ever responded to? He he had nothing. He literally had nothing, General, and that's. Uh, it, <laughs> But I still, I still, I'm a little perturbed. It's, okay, I'm a lot perturbed that he actually said you were cutting him off. Where, where did you cut him off? I mean, besides the fact that you guys are a little like back and forth, which I don't give two shits about, because again, I think you were doing what you were supposed to do and try to keep it on topic and keep it on, you know, him to answer the questions. But you did not at any time tell him, you know, just the, the basically, you know, stop talking that you wanted him to stop talking. Or that you um, cut him off. You actually had said to him, "Are you sure you're done? How many times? I mean, do you, do you have more time? Are you sure you want to continue?" This is how back asswards this guy's brain is. Whatever up is down to him. Whatever's down's up. Whatever's right's left. He is like the bizarro world of the great debate community. As as far as I know, doesn't a moderator need to be neutral and uh, ironically part of the debate discussion in the sense that? The two debaters, I mean, I'm thinking here classical debating rules, uh -huh. that the two debaters are actually trying to convince the moderator. Um, um, in, yeah, in argumentation the theory. The moderator, but he should be neutral. No, it depends. In argumentation theory, either, it depends. Either the moderator or the audience. Yeah, yes, it depends. Oh, well. I, you know what? There's no one size fits all, right? It's what people agree upon. But the, the point here being that the moderator is allowed to ask qualifying questions and to suss things out. Um, I've yeah. moderated how many things? I do the same things. Occasionally, I might get a little more involved than I should toward the end when it's three hours in and we're already like you know moved on to other things. But um, you know, during the debate, like even though you had some slide problems, I didn't get involved with you and Floyd's debate. I just kept time and kind of, if there was any kind of qualifying questions, I asked. That was it. That was it. You know, I, I didn't show preference to either one. I didn't um, engage either one for for extended period of time. To um, and I certainly didn't cut anybody off, right? And uh, and you know what, Apologia said, I do wish General had rather rules. Yeah, but time. I did, and I, I think he I did. Actually, I think he kind of did. And yeah, at the start, yeah. And, and there was really not really much to go over, Paul. I mean, it was. Basically, we agreed five minutes, fifteen minutes, five minute, uh, uh, fifteen minute rebuttal, five minute closer, and then back, back and forth, and then Q and A. Um, and Mr. Intelligent Design, nobody wants to debate you. Just, let me just put it <laughs> out there: nobody takes you seriously. You're a nice guy, Edgar, but I swear to God, nobody is going to debate you because you are so freaking out of left field. It doesn't even make sense to do so. Um, I will lose any respect to anybody in this community that would ever, ever want to debate Edgar. It's it, it. You're talking two different languages, so. Oh, how, how come true empiricism was had a vein then? Uh, simply put, because for the last year, um, you know, I said I wasn't going to for very similar reasons, but um, you know, a lot of people have been greatly supportive to my channel, including, you know, helping with a new monitor, a new computer, mouse, uh, microphone, uh, and and Patreon. I mean, just a, 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 just amazing amount of, of support. I wanted to get back, and I know a lot of people wanted this debate to happen. They were like, you know, you know, well, you talk we, about it, but oh, shoot. Well, I mean, you got to remember, Thaddeus, my channel is entertainment. I make fun of stupid people sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and Ronnie is literally the king of dumb fuckery. Let's be <laughs> honest. Okay, he is the king of dumb fuckery. So I, I will talk about him probably more frequently than other people. Um, but he's not the only one. As a matter of fact, we've gone weeks without talking him. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, after he won dumb fuck of the award, 
uh, of the year award, we basically talked for like five minutes about him, and then for the first month, didn't say shit. Um, he actually brought up a lot of this old stuff, right? But I mean, mm -hmm. Thaddeus, you watched the debate, did you? I, I think the fact that I watched the end, the near the end of it, I saw what General yeah. was doing, and then uh, that's okay. I probably know you probably won anyhow. Oh, there's no without a question. <laughs> without, I mean, again, I I my own worst critic, right? I and I know I kicked it. his ass. I mean, I know I kicked his ass. Even though I, I could have done better in a few parts, and uh, you know, I learned from my my. Uh, I Steve, again, I honestly think you did really. Well. You were very clear. Uh, Why am I always worst critic? I'm sorry. So, you know, Right. <laughs> There's a few things I would have changed. Let's put it that way. If I did it over again, but yeah, the, like the, if I did my debate with Gmail, I would I mean, not have used his definition fair enough. of God. Yeah, I mean, so we all, <laughs> we all kind of kind of look back and it, 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 we all kind of look back and go, um, you know, there's always things we can improve upon. We have what's called self reflection. Ronnie, eh, not so much. Go ahead, General. Yeah. So, so fair enough if there were like technical issues or, uh, you know, let's just say if, if you butted in Steve or something. Or, I mean, those would be legitimate issues. So, I, I mean, think about it. I, I engage with him for about eight minutes. Uh, how long is the video? The videos are over an hour and 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Roughly an hour and 30 minutes between just you and him. And he was and mostly talking to you, it seemed. You know what I'm saying? He was engaging with you. Well, that yeah, that's that's another thing. Uh, he didn't actually engage, like in regards to the rebuttal stuff. And so you were, so you you gave a presentation. He gave a presentation. You responded to his presentation. He technically didn't respond to your presentation uh, because what what's meant to happen is you're meant to take. I mean, that's the whole part of the whole rebuttal thing is you you take notes of what the presenter has just said, and then you overlay it with your data. So he was proposing brain and nervous system stuff. Yeah. Well, you have to combine it somehow. He didn't do that. That's, that's actually true. I didn't think about it that way. The only person he actually engaged with was me when I <laughs> asked him about the so-called model of ID that, you know, that it's lacking. Uh, which is actually quite funny now because uh, maybe that's why they're so upset. <laughs> so annoying when you have something only, prepared and then they don't even use of, that. An hour and 30 minutes, he only engaged for eight minutes. So uh, <laughs> so that, yeah, anyway. Well, I thought it was interesting. He had, Steve had this huge presentation and everything, and then it seems like true empiricism didn't even, that wasn't even his main crux of his argument anyhow. <laughs> so. Well, well, mine or his? His. Oh, and then I don't, he, he, kinda, didn't he, kinda, he didn't have any crux of argument. He didn't have anything whatsoever. And by the way, he did, he took down that hangout he just had. Um, so I don't have the video footage of him saying um, that he was, uh, quote, uh, um, uh, being cut short. But anybody who's watched that video knows exactly what he said. He said, quote, he was being quite cut short in his responses and Jenna wanted him to stop talking. Mm. Okay. Uh, that, to be fair, yeah. I did I did miss because I wasn't aware. Um, I was waiting for the first one. That never happened. Um, the second just, one... I'm, I'm just going to disappoint you, Stizer. You know that. No, I, no, but I'm guessing is it, it, it... Well, from what I, what, what I understood afterwards, it was a clusterfuck. But I forget that. Forget that, right? Seems to someone in here, Mr. Intelligent Design, right? I did you want to maybe go over maybe some points, Steve? And because I want to listen if Mr. Intelligent Design, because I want to ask him a few questions if he doesn't mind. Not really. Um, unless it's about the topic, no, yeah, I mean, no, I don't well, no, on the topic, yeah. on the topic. Yeah, I, I don't think one, Mr. Intelligent Design didn't watch the debate, so what mm. did he have to contribute? Oh boy, this is gonna be well, a waste of time. Well, what yeah. we could do, what we could do is, is propose to him. That the questions asked by you, do they seem fair? And also, was the moderator fair in moderating? I in, don't think he watched the debate. <laughs> All he left as a comment is that Ronnie doesn't understand Intel design either. Well, <laughs> did you watch the Wait, Edgar, did you watch the debate? Yeah. Yes. Oh, you did? Okay. Uh, did you watch the debate that I had uh -huh. with Ronnie? 
did you watch the Money? debate? Yes. Yeah, I, I think Ronnie was wrong. Okay, he was wrong. Yeah, I think anybody with half a brain, or uh, even you maybe. Um, you did a good job. I should say a tenth of a brain. But anyways, um, what, Edgar, what, what do you think uh, of, of General's moderation? That's what I'm concerned about. Did, did he do anything wrong in his moderation? Did he did he at any time? What? Did he cut did he cut Ronnie off or did he tell ask him to stop talking when how many times did you note he asked him, Are you sure you're done? Are you sure you're done? You have more time. Yeah, maybe no. Well, well fuck him. I'm gonna fucking answer because he's taking too long. I I, Go for I would it. Go fuck for him, it. I don't care, you can answer after me. I think that's a fucking I think that's the straw man thing that they do. It's like Come on, Steve. You, you got to understand. This is TE, right? And the gang. I, I, there's no way. This guy sat up. What was it last time you sat up for, dude? Uh, General, uh, you sat up and it was like four o'clock in the morning for you. You sat up and waited for an hour, two hours, three hours, and you was like, "Should I go to bed?" Yeah. Yeah. Well, now he was least, waiting for ages. At least now gonna... we, we know why he could have done in his lunch break. It would have taken him five minutes to say, "Uh, uh don't the line. It's true. You wrong. You poopy head." I mean, yeah, it's it's the just bullshit. Because that? that's the only that's the only thing they've got. It's like they can't attack the actual point of the argument, which is 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 intelligent design a theory that's actually held up in any way and if they class it as a theory then no. therefore it requires scientific method to prove that it is and they don't like it because id has no scientific method at all this is the point yeah ID it's a, it's a is, good philosophy but it's not yes. a, it's not science thank you thaddis ray thaddis just said the basic thing they, conf they confuse they confuse basic philosophy, which is fine. You can philosophize about yeah. anything. That's the beauty of Makes philosophy. Sense in that realm. Yeah, but don't start going, well, we can prove it. No, it's not science. Nope. Tyler, no, no, no. Tyler makes a good uh, point, and I don't know if this, again, I don't want to go to motive, but <laughs> Tyler Durden says he asked one of his questions was, could he get a quick look at this presentation? Because Ronnie did say he prepared something, but he didn't want to use it. And that Tyler says he didn't like that question, um, I think that he looked at these questions and I think he said, no way can I, I get me bothered to try to answer these. And he just took off. Um, it was not about his moderation because he had done such no a poorly, bad job the entire debate. I mean, he started off with no opener and his, his, his body of an argument was just non-existent. So I think at that point he knew that he had been beat down and that he was better off just going back to his little circle jerk uh, safe space and try to rewrite history and that's well, you exactly gotta, what he's doing well, you gotta, he's you trying to rewrite history, which is fine I, this was expected this was completely expected yeah, but, that he rewrite yeah, Steve, Steve, you got to understand the only people who argue for id are theological people right because that's that's the jake id is based upon the premise well okay yes whatever but the premise I'm is the premise is that there's something greater than you with intelligence Therefore, the, the universe works or makes sense because of intelligence. We can't make sense of the world unless it's designed or with purpose is the ghetto clause, basically. Requires purpose. And that's bullshit. The universe doesn't require any purpose at all. We give, we give universe meaning because we exist. That doesn't mean the universe, therefore, gives a shit that you exist. Hence, ask the dinosaurs. I mean, shit. I'm giving the link out against the doctor, Annabelle, Tyler... Um... Everybody, everybody but Steve McQuack, because that's actually me. Um, can't come in. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently that's me. Yeah. I love you, Steve McQuack. I do. You're my favorite troll of all time. Seriously, don't ever leave me. I'm just saying. I, I just think it, it, if he was moderating, uh, General was moderating, it'd be fine. I just think they're just looking for excuses. It's fucking usual. It happens in every debate state. You're not, you know, you're not the first. You won't be the last. Do you want to debate because they're like, oh, fucking hate atheist, even though you're not an atheist because you always said that. You're kind of like, you know, agnostic atheist, I think, right? No. To be, to be fair. No, I'm so, not. So, well, you're in the middle, aren't you? You're just like. No, I'm not agnostic atheist. I've already oh, a right, billion well, times well, explained this. I'm just right, well, Yeah, but they don't like what you are, right? I don't well, know. Like, they don't I, like I, what you said. They I'm think, just, I'm just really. Like, <laughs> really? But they don't like what. No, but they I don't like what you are. <laughs> They don't like rational beings, Steve. I'm just sometimes saying they don't like anybody who's got a rational mind. 
And don't say fucking. Th- uh, I'm kind of being like illogical because I'm saying that's not awesome. uh, Solo will be back. He said he'll be back in a few minutes. Um, yeah, no problem, Dyler. Dyler's just smoking some hookah and whatever. Bio lectures. Yeah. Um, yeah, some of some people actually study things like biology and stuff like that, and you know, you don't, you don't need to study biology or anything. You don't need a PhD. You just need common sense. And well, it's funny, get... R- R- Ronnie. Um, uh, yeah, Ronnie was saying that we didn't get to any kind of things technical, and I was ready for that. I was like, let's do it. Um, he just went on some part of the brain that I have no idea what his it's gonna be his argument really was, and stickle back fish again, not knowing what his argument is. So I can't address something if I have no. Um, prior ability to do to reference this stuff right i mean this was completely well, especially the, the first stickleback didn't know the argument but you know we i at least brought something to the table that we've discussed before right and i've obliterated his argument that he's been using for a year on atp synthase and turbines i obliterated it i showed conclusively there there are far more things that are different between a actual turbine and atp synthase than in common now i was hoping he would say okay let's talk about the atp synthase didn't happen I had questions at the ready. Yes, I, I understand that, Steve. But the problem is, the entire point is causal. It, it, it's a causal thing. Like, oh, look, um, you know, you can use any. Uh, well, we've got little motors that make us work as human beings, right? I think that's the thing you're talking about. The ATB shit, maybe wrong, but we have got little looking things that are like motors. But that doesn't mean because we invented motors that they were intelligently designed. And well, actually, that is, actually, no, it does mean that. <laughs> no, it, <laughs> no we, it doesn't. It doesn't. Well, it on. doesn't because, if, because, if, hold on, because, <sighs> in, because their excuse is that because we're intelligent means that we can recognize other intelligence when that hasn't, it's, that is not the case. That is a complete fallacy in and of itself. Yeah. If we invented, if we invented a motor, we intelligently designed it. That that is intelligent design, but it's not the same intelligent design no, that they're referring yeah, to. but it, it, requ- it, requ- it what they're saying is it requires you to know what intelligence is before you know what intelligence is. And by the way, Paul, I don't care about your chest cough. Come on in, buddy. I I, I like Paul. Paul's one of my my favorite people in this community, even though he's relatively new. He's grown on me, kind of like genital herpes. Um, Ew! Don't let that warts. grow. I don't know. Don't let that Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. yeah. like fucking. I don't know what's what's worse, herpes or warts. I have no idea. Both are fucking bad. Let me, let me ask Wayne, which one of you, you know, which one did you think was worse? Wayne. <laughs> no, he's, I'm kidding, Wayne. He's in the live feed going. Yeah, I, think, I think ID water bad. ID water and ID herpes are bad. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea. I, I, the only thing I've ever caught from a chick with a headache. No. I just I love the idea. Thank God, I love the know. idea of intelligent and desired AIDS. Yeah. I love that. Oh, it's like way. everything, like rocks, AIDS, yeah, locust, all intelligent. Needs. How can an intelligent being with intelligence design that shit knowing exactly what's going to do next? Like, really? Like, a rock? Did, yeah. did someone literally intelligently design a fucking rock? Christina, you like, can come in what? too, doctor. Come on in, guys. You know, I'm not going to keep this open no, very long. No, but, it's, just, uh, it's just beyond. I can't, I can't have a Stizer show. Like, you're, you're, sorry. You're, you're, no, I love you, Stizer. I do. All right, I just shut up. It's just, I just find this whole topic really weird. Yeah. I find it weird when people treat it as a science. I mean, I can see it working together with evolution. I mean, if you want to believe well, I, somebody started the evolution. I can see it as a philosophy. I can see the idea behind it, but I well, can't see it. Well, the in the, si- in the chat, live chat actually just said it can't be a philosophy. Like, it isn't a philosophy. No, but it's something to be talked right, It's something to be talked about in exactly. philosophy. There's mm. a difference. I, I'm not saying intelligent design is a philosophy. I'm saying that I'm fine with talking about it in philosophy, um, well, it is. The, the link is right here. I mean, it's like, oh, I mean, the link. This, dude, this, click the link. It's, it's open. I don't care if we get sniped because it's not a philosophy. Really it's like a, it's an ideology. Man. I, I can see yeah, it. No, it, it. It's a question that is people proposing. We're willing to discuss it, but as soon as people go off the edge and say it's a science, then yeah. that then therefore, if it is a science, then therefore so we need therefore to apply, we to apply the, the scientific the method to it. Method to it. Oh my god, Echo. Good night, Megan. 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 It's Wayne. Yeah, let me mute Wayne. Wayne, you're echoing so bad right now. I think the debate is good. What was good, although that Steve was prepared, he prepared a slide. And his idea is was very easy to understand. 
So I think we need to encourage him to make his model more presentable. I mean, we need, he need first to make a model, the name of the model. Um, uh, I think he has a model, but uh, he need to present that model like the way Steve made it. I, I don't think he has discussion. a model. I don't think he has a model. He had nothing. <laughs> I but, I mean, he, okay. but, but real quick, hey, Edgar, did, did you see at any time um, Ronnie being cut short? No, I, it's a it's a fair it's a fair game. See, there you go. for me, it's a fair game. Yeah, and I mean, this is the point you, of him well, rewriting well, history. Well, you know, many people, uh, of course. It's personal. Maybe experience are different from the way you were experienced in my experience. So I think we need to understand that. Look, there is him again. But look, this guy, Mr. Intelligent ID, he, he's had a discussion with you. He doesn't think how you treated him was unfair. If he if he can still sit in this room right now, Steve, he's the proof what's what T E says is complete bullshit. Oh yeah, no, and I ridicule Edgar No End, but I kinda I like the guy. I think he's funny and, and, and he's personal. <laughs> well, he's I, I, I'd have a good beer. I would go I would literally go have a beer with him, not talk about Tell Design and we can go and play pool together. You know, I, I mean he's a cool guy, right? Um no, but I just think he's point. completely un, uninformed, but he's he's a decent guy. But you know what I will I, I will tell you what I will give Mr. Teller Design something that that is way greater than even Ronnie. Mr. Tell Design came with a presentation. He has yeah. something we can look at, something we can analyze, whether it be right, wrong, or indifferent. That is a ten thousand more time greater than what Ronnie did in that. And he's not. And he's not a dick. He's not a dick. Yeah, yeah. No, he's he's a nice guy. That's why I feel bad giving him such shit. I mean, he seems like a nice guy, but you know. <laughs> you know. Well, well, actually, uh, you we're know, talking. Uh, we're talking about him like he's not even here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 we. <laughs> I think <Shut> up. <laughs> let's keep talking about it. <laughs> oh, okay. I think people in community now are they, like, they like science, so that's why we have a the uh, evolution model, our own interrelation model, and we, are, we need to also ask for TS uh, model for the old intellig uh, intelligent design. I think we need to encourage him to make uh, his model more specific and more size so that uh we could understand maybe me too i don't understand what what you was trying to say yeah but the reason because you know uh i, well, I, well, I didn't understand true. what no but that's true because if like exactly what steve said at least you present a model we can at least agree on or disagree on you're presenting something that okay we mightn't agree on it but it's something just like yeah. steve presented his version I, I, he I, didn't I, present I, anything yeah yeah i agree i agree i agree, I agree. yeah i totally agree with that the reason why I would like to, you would like to explain reality based on a model, you know. That's the reason why I still, I know I still was wrong because I have my own model. But uh, the way he present himself um, to the debate is very important. Uh, of course, I, I, I'm not going to agree with Steve. I, I know that he was wrong, and I also know that uh, Ronnie was wrong. But in in for our for our education, for our learning. For our understanding of the reality, I think we need to encourage again uh, TE dream tourism uh, to make his own model. I think you need another more debate, dude. I, 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 I wanted him to, right? I really wanted him to, and it just never happened. Okay, can um, I ask, can I ask this then, Steve? Hold on a sec. Can I ask this, you, Mister Intelligent Design? Was Steve more correct, even though you think he was wrong in what you accept as? The evidence. Do you think Steve was more correct in how he approached the the discussion? Do you think Steve was more correct in how he approached it, even though you might disagree with whatever he's claiming? But do you think he was he was more correct in how he presented the evidence that he held? I think that's a good for point. me. Uh, well, uh, because you know, in the debate, you need to make yourself. Uh, especially in the debate with with uh, with a time frame with the time limit i think uh, a debater must prepare himself it's shorter he need to make he need to make it presentable easy to understand but if, if i'm going to judge between steve and ronnie i think uh steve is for me his presentation was more uh, he has a draw he has a, a slight 
it's easy to understand. Exactly. Of course, uh, oh yeah, I understand. But uh, of course, uh, I, I'm not going to accept it. But, uh, but the way the way scientific debate is, I think, should be like that, like the way Steve do do. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. Can I, can I, can I just live feed? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Edgar. I appreciate that immensely. <laughs> let, me, let me correct something live feed because again, um, a lot of these people like to rewrite history. Um, Edward Bailey, by the way, do not time him out. If you, if you have a spanner, do not time out Edward, at least right, right now. Edward, you said that T.E. corrected a Ph.D. Okay. student. Hang on. Not you, Edgar. The, um, sorry, Edgar in the I have to leave. I have to leave. Okay, thank you. Okay. No, I have to leave. Thank you. Right. Okay. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank thank you. you. Thank you. you did a good job. Thank Please you. make thank a debate again. Okay. okay. Let's make a debate. <laughs> You're welcome anytime. Thank you, Edgar. Okay, okay. thank you. So in the uh, live feed, Ed Edgar um, has said that uh, T. Empir to empiricism had corrected a Ph.D. student, Sam the Scientist, um, in an area of his field. Um, this has been explained ad nauseum, and it's, it's fortunate that people like Edward is too goddamn stupid to understand what was actually being uh, talked about and then tries to make comment on it. Uh, Trumpism didn't really correct Sam. What happened was, yeah, he, Sam the scientist admitted being corrected by True after they figured out what enzyme they were talking about. True empiricism confused a VATPase with an FATPase because he was talking about the 16-KDA proteolipid, which he actually called a 16-ADK proteolipid, which is nonsensical because KDA is kilodaltons. That's a measurement of, of molecular mass for the for the uh, protein. So Sam had no idea what he was talking about because a FATPase doesn't have a 16 KDA proteolipid. They're found in VATPases. So True wasn't talking about the right enzyme. So once they've got to determine what enzyme he was talking about, then it started making sense. So Sam was incorrect only for the fact that True didn't have a fucking clue what he was talking about. It did not know the difference between a VATPase and an FATPase. That's the reason. And this has been explained ad nauseum to people. And the fact, Edward Bradley, that you just cannot grasp this, you don't, that means seriously, you do not know a damn thing about this and that you just blindly want to accept that Ronnie's correct on the things he's telling you because you lack the ability to go check in to these claims. Ronnie doesn't understand biology in any way, in any way. He, he's literally a functionally illiterate scientific person. Um, and so what you're doing is you are doing the same thing Ronnie's doing. You're rewriting history. I don't have to rewrite history. You can go back and watch that hangout, and you can literally see what happened. They are talking about two different enzymes because Ronnie was unclear about what enzyme he was talking about because he read it out of Wikipedia. He literally... Literally got a KD 16 KD proteolipid because it's on Wikipedia under FBTPases. That's it. That's it. But if you asked him right now, go ahead, go to his hangout, ask him straight blank, point blank. Hey, Ronnie, can you explain to me the difference between a VATPase and FTPase? Watch him, watch him just, just change the subject because he won't be able to do it. All right, Steve, you know what, dude? I can honestly say I've got no fucking idea the difference between any of them things. I can, I'll, well, I'll tell you the main no, differences. Uh, no, besides no, so I'm not asking it. I'm just saying this. I, I know. I I, no, I know. I'm just saying this, like, I, as a layman, because that's not my subject or expertise. I don't do biology. I just don't. Um, but I, I would agree with what I... Thaddeus, I don't want to get your fucking name wrong. Is that Thaddeus? The Thaddeus. Thaddeus. Okay. What Thaddeus said is perfectly correct from my perspective is that it's okay to talk about it in some kind of philosophical way like god intelligent design but as soon as you veer over to the scientific method part of things that's that's a big stretch right because that requires evidence and repeated experiments and so on that's not the same as going well what if they're not the same things, man. You can ask any scientist who deals with the universe who will tell you ID is a fucking a a a, 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 um, a switch and bait, so to speak, right? Because what they're trying to do is they're trying to tell you that the assumption is intelligent design because we're intelligent, right? So everything that we know that exists in the world that has function that's logical because of us if therefore it's intelligent if we can understand the universe therefore the universe must have to be created by the same being that, like us that's complete bullshit that's a leap to say the least atoms atoms for one instance destroyed the arguments atoms are chaotic right 
we understand atoms because this is the frequency in which we live in the universe. Any scientist will tell you that. 99% of space is empty, right? 99% of that shit. Are you telling me that 99% of intelligent design is empty? I mean, seriously. If you're going to use the scientific method to explain the universe, then I suggest you ask any scientist with his salt. Most of them would tell you we've got no idea what's going on. We can, we can explain some things, but not everything. So intelligent so, uh, design is not so intelligent after all, is it? It's a guess. Yeah, Drew's the legend has posted this, and I want to read it because this is actually pretty good. And he told Steve Brown, he said, you know, he said, uh, uh, General Hassel of moderation was excellent. It was generally excellent during the debate. He responded to hundreds of posts asking Ronnie to, to address the actual question. What I saw yesterday was one person who actually prepared for an argument and one person who thought he could just wing it. Ronnie got destroyed, frustrated, and he ran away. That, that, and that was my, my summation of it as well. Nothing um, new. He had his opportunity. Um, he blew it. And he made himself look like a total freaking blabbling idiot. Because uh, he and, is. And, and then what's worse, and then what's worse is that he goes into a hangout and tries to blame the moderator, blame collusion, blame a conspiracy, full-on conspiratorial theory, and then say that he was not given time to talk and that he was being uh, cut off. I'm sorry, that, wasn't, wasn't it him who agreed to have him as the moderator? Wasn't it him who was insistent? Actually, uh, yeah. yeah, Steve, that, yeah. that, that is conspiracy. Did, did you hear what uh, you said? That apparently you, you and I were, were chatting privately. Collusion. Um, yeah. I swear to God is my witness again. I mean, no, I, I think it's God's thing. I swear stop as well. Stop, stop yeah. it. Well, I mean, <laughs> to General's deity, right? <laughs> um, but, yo, that, that, who General, I, General and I did not talk during that discussion at all. Except not at exactly. all. Absolutely the group, not. The only yeah, discussion that you and I have was in the yeah, side general, chat. General, in general woke up at three o'clock in the morning to conspiracies against somebody who never showed up. Yeah, okay. I believe that. Not. Yeah, so the, the only we chat that, that, one second, the only chat that Steve and I had was in the side chat in front of him. And it yeah, was and like no, only and, like and, what, two words or something. The, like. And the only thing I was saying is, you know, I would like one minute to respond. Um, and there was one point where I think we wanted to move on to Q&A. I said, I don't even need 20 seconds. And I just and I told General, can you please read the name of the debate topic? Right. And that was it. Um, and Paul, I know you're not feeling well. Um, and I know you're listening in because you eavesdrop. Um, I am. I'm right here. I'm sorry you don't feel well, by the way. Hi, uh, thank you. Yeah. Did you? And by the way, everybody, hey, Paul is almost getting close to his thousand subscription. So mm -hmm. if you don't subscribe to Paul, I will hunt you down and do nasty things to you. Um, well, some of those things you might like, but whatever. Um, <laughs> Go sub to yeah, Paul. Paul you're talking here. Paul Gia. Dirty bitch. Uh, love his love his shit. Love your love your channel. So go ahead, go ahead, Paul. Uh, what what do you think of debate? I mean, I mean, well, uh, all I want to I mean, do is, you... no, unfortunately, uh, you know, as well as you did, it didn't actually come across as your opponent was so out of your league in that way that really it didn't look like all the work that you'd put in and, and the thought you put in didn't pay off because you didn't have an adequate opponent. All Ronnie heard was, oh, I'm, he's out of my league. That's all he heard right now if he was listening. Ah, I told you, I'm out of his league. Not yeah. the way you think, Ronnie. The hate, <laughs> the hate is context. real. Ron, I mean, Ronnie hates you so much you can't even join the hangout and fucking say anything. The guy's, the guy's a fucking idiot. Jade, can you just come in for a minute? I want you to, uh, just if you real can, explain the, the grass thing because I tried to explain it to him. Um, I don't know the details, but I do know that, you know, we've, we've seen grass. Grass is a family, and we've seen divergence take place earlier than expected um, along phylogenetic lines. That's not uncommon. It happens quite frequently. Um, that doesn't destroy the model. Matter of fact, the model can incorporate these things because these things normally would happen over vast periods of time. Divergence takes several tens of millions of years sometimes. So we know that if it just, okay, it was 10, 10 million years earlier we found these things. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't invalidate the model, it, and not at all. Now, if we found a human that could only be maximum about 200, uh, excuse me, 2 million years old, because you know, we, we can't exist it before there were splits in orangutan, right? Before Pan Prior with even chimpanzees, we couldn't have existed. That's 6 million years ago. We couldn't have existed at... Uh, the one I used a lot in the hanging that I had with Wayne, Paralopithecus, Paralopithecus catalonicus. I love saying that. It just flows. Um, 12 no, million years ago. <laughs> no, it doesn't. We, we can't tough. push back humans prior to that. It doesn't work that way. And Ronnie doesn't understand that. So I'm like, he's like, well, if we found a human in a T-Rex mouth, according to Steve, 
you know, it would invalidate, but you know, it wouldn't really invalidate anything because they're just pushing back. The Ronnie, problem is the, the problem is the way, the problem is the way if we haven't. <laughs> I mean, it'd be nice if we did, but well, we I, mean, I don't mind. I don't mind having <laughs> hypotheticals, but does he yeah. does he not understand pushing something back ten million years for a divergence of a family of grass is not the same as saying that humans existed sixty five million years ago? No, but so what Ronnie's trying to debate is evolution in the guise of ID. That's I think that's what you're missing here. If he's trying to if he's trying oh, to baby. use biology, he's push it back. I got a question. Um, again, Edward in the side feed. T, they, T, he says TA has more, more subscribers than me. Hey, Edward, how do you know that? TE doesn't show his subscribers. So are you psychic? <laughs> Maybe he is. Can you hear yeah. me okay? Yeah, we can hear you That's, okay. But you, okay. See, you see the dumb fuckery that we have to deal with? Here's an idiot in my live feed going, oh, <laughs> TE has more views than you. No, actually, he doesn't. Uh, Edward, if actually, if you look at the monthly, I far more than he is. And yes, I run more hangouts. But if you actually did the math, which is a you know subject you probably failed in school, I have a far greater watch ratio to my subscription base than 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 G Man does, than Ronnie claims to have because he says he has two thousand subscribers. I have no idea what he has because he doesn't show it. I'm guessing he has about eleven to thirteen hundred, as by my estimate. Um, but that doesn't matter. Um, look how many people hated his video. He has ninety dislikes. They're not me. Yeah. It could be Steve McQuack, but they're definitely not yeah. me. I give him one, uh, though. I admit that. Go ahead, Jade. So, okay, so the grass thing. What happened yeah. is they found some coprolites, and that's uh, fossilized dino dung, and it had these little things in it that I always mispronounce, so I'm not going to say what they are, um, in the in the coprolites, and these things are indicative of grasses because they're only found in grasses. Uh, it's a little silicon kind of thing. Uh, I put the links to papers about them, two papers about them, uh, no, one paper about them, sorry, uh, on my G+. Okay. So they found these things. Now, up until then, the best proof we had of the age of grass was about 55 million years. So this pushed it back 10 million years more to um now in geologic time that's really not a lot okay 10 million years isn't a big leap plus yeah, we can only scale. judge scale. by right it's, it's mm -hmm. right plus we can only judge by what evidence we have nobody said that grass absolutely had to be at this time now what's interesting about this is it meant that dinosaurs ate grass point out that um, even before this research, we had pollen from grass that was 70 million years old. So we're not However, talking about huge jumps, 10 million no, and 70 million, no. and that's not a large pushback. No. And 70 million years, the, the thing is, the pollen, for various reasons, is not as firm evidence. Hey, uh, by the way, well, I, 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 got, I, gotta, wait, I gotta interrupt again. Um, Again, this shows the dishonesty of people in my live feed. Um, hey, uh, uh, Edgar, in the, in the live feed, um, you just claimed that according to Social Blade, um, Ronnie has more subs than me. Hey, dipshit, Social Blade doesn't show the subs when you have them hidden. I, I, I'm going to point out what Annabelle said. Von Helton has nearly 12,000 subs. Yeah, and they, and they all love him, right? <laughs> yeah, they all love him. Um, so wait a minute. So this guy claims something that we know is not true because if you go to Social Blade and you look up Ronnie's channel, it doesn't show them. So, right. I mean, the dishonesty of these people is just fucking... Oh, it's Edward, not Edgar. I'm sorry. You're right, Tyler. It's Edward. Who cares? He's still a cunt. Yeah, Ed, Edward, you are a lying, lying, liar, pants on fire, poopy head. Well, I was going to also add that uh, I think it was Rational Mind gave me a link that shows we now have grass that's even older. But this is not a big deal. I, this shows a basic misunderstanding of how the fossil record works, how paleontology works, how we do research. Would you say that he's fundamentally so stupid? So what? It, it's just unbelievable. Well, he also... Uh, mentioned the three spine and what is it three I think it's three three spine and nine spine stickleback as if this is somehow really weird and I did again um, two papers in my Google Plus that explains that it's not a big mystery he doesn't understand how DNA works and how the fact that you can have 
genes on different chromosomes and they're still related because genes can move from chromosome to chromosome. This is well known. Um, but you mean like this fish and, and fucking yeah. legs? And I, and I like agree with that. salamander? Like, oh my no, god, the way, oh, there's a on. fish with gills. My god. Yeah, Vincent, no. Vincent has said he only says subscribers. I, I'll, let me read the quote. According to socialblade.com, TE has more traffic and subscribers on his channel compared to Steve's. So yes, he did say subscribers. And as we know, Social Blade doesn't show the describer, subscribers. Because Vincent just anyway. He, Vincent uh -huh. just said he did say subs, traffic, not subs, but fair point. Oh, no. It's just all fucking idiot. No and one cares. the traffic, cares, again, is, again, the traffic is, I'm catching up to him tremendously. I remember, and you guys remember, when I only had like 100 subs. Oh, uh, Steve, no one yeah. cares. That's like saying that, like, Von Helton's smarter than you because he's got more subs, for fuck's sake. Come on. It doesn't matter. People subscribe no, to weird but, shit. But I, I, you don't understand. He's in the live feed literally defending his butt buddy Ronnie and lying to That's because he's a fucking so. idiot. That's because he's but an this, idiot. This is, but this is what I do on my channel. I point out these people that are absolutely lying, and you can you can you can just demonstrate it. He literally said you can go to Social Blade and see that Ronnie has more like uh, subscribers than me. Go yeah, for but it. I bet I bet I bet fucking Ronnie's got less of a Patreon subscriber. No, Social Blade does not provide an estimate of subscribers. Social Blade has zero across the board. Have you been to his channel, Edward Bailey Brady? Brady? It's go to Social Blade, go to Truth's channel. And it'll show his highest amount as a 149, I believe it was, when he he when he turned it off about two, three years ago. Okay, listen, he says, oh, it does. Um, really 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 can, we, can we not can we not just, argue with some random titted in the fucking yeah. world? <laughs> this is what I do. This is what I do, Spider. Mm -hmm. no, no, I, know, I enjoy this. It just it just it diminishes the I fact like that you're smart and he's off. fucking not. Just annoying. Okay, just, so just see, why do you give wanna, these people the benefit? I just want to say I'm gonna I'm gonna be heading off for probably I don't know half an hour an hour or something. But uh, I appreciate the, uh, uh, the comments by Jade, uh, and I appreciate also Steve um, for you know bringing this to attention. I I honestly I didn't really care, but at the same time <laughs> I'm not gonna. I got um, your back, buddy, like, and I'm yeah. not doing this because just because you're my friend, which you are, and I will do it for you anyways. But you I are let you right. defend yourself in their room, so it's only oh, fair that Steve right. at least gives you a platform. It's, it's yeah, and by the way, let me show you guys this. <laughs> I am showing. I'm, I'm screen sharing to show that you know Edward is a liar. Here's the true person's channel. Subscriber zero. Oh, it's not 149. I'm sorry, it's 167. I knew it was a small number. Subscribers, because and that's not how many he has. That's when he turned it off. Okay. Um, so yeah, he has, he, you have no way of knowing what his sub count is because he hides them. What you see is July 14th, right? His, this was two years ago. This was back in uh, 2000 or three years ago. Sorry. 2014. This is six. Uh, he turned it off on 627, 2014, give or take. And all it shows is zero. So you have no way to know what his sub count is, right? Then, it has the gain from here and this ends again on four to, I mean, basically it stops at 167 the entire way. So obviously you have not been to Social Blade to look at this, and you just basically would rather lie to support your butt buddy rather than give a shit about the truth. Here's the interesting this thing, all Steve. Uh, check out the uh, views for the last 30 days percentage. Yours mm -hmm. has gone up by almost 37%. Oh, and my metrics Cruz have has gone. dropped by thirteen percent or something. <laughs> oh, I've, I've made a point in this before. I looked at the metrics. My, my, if you know, yes, I do more hangouts. But if you actually look case by case, my viewership has gone up dramatically, um, and his. And if you actually look at the people watching, Steve, I would say that ninety percent agree with, with what I'm saying. Steve, uh, no, it, you have more substantial hangouts. There's the, the difference. Yeah. You have, you have, subs, you have. Well, I've said this to you before. You. You have good hangouts with people that people are interested in listening to. He doesn't. That's yeah. the difference right there. There's, you don't need a metric for that shit, dude. Yeah, and I agree with you on that. And uh, I mean, how many times can you listen to Ronnie say uh, 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 evolution is a metric? Uh, 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 whatever the fuck he says. Uh, evolution is a, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Only because people are talking about that. Yeah. Whatever. You get that the point. Yeah, 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 something for this millionth yeah. time. No, but, I, I'm, I'm just saying. It's, it's so Mr. GBT asks, Edward Bradley says zero subs. Ready to admit you're a lying cunt? Yeah. Would you like to admit that, Edward? I'm, I'd be taking your <laughs> apology now. I'm fine with okay. that. We'll be taking bets. Can I, anyone who put a bet on? Yeah, but um, Steve, if you do a comparison on Social Blade with his channel, alone, then he's 
like they have subscriber rank still for him. He's 13 millionth and you're 1.5 millionth. Oh, really? So I don't know if that if they mark him down there as zero, but they do give an estimate. I don't know. Anyway. I just think it's funny that these guys are so willing to lie. In order yeah, but to I, I bet if I bet if you checked out Steve's shit versus Von Helton or some random crazy, they'd probably be higher than Steve, right? But well, that's I because guess. people like listening to crazy shit. I mean, I could yeah. I could pick out any random alien. Secure 10, for instance, right? I always see that sh fucking garbage on the internet. He, he's got like what half a million subscribers. The guy just fucking says aliens every five fucking videos, and he makes loads of people. Fucking <laughs> I'm not go saying to it's aliens, but it's aliens. No, it's, but it's aliens. Exactly right, and he gets shit loads of subs. Does that make it more substantive in like it, the yeah, topic? viewership? Shouldn't no. necessarily mean that it's substantial. It's just what exactly. people are interested in. Yeah, I totally agree. Alien stuff interesting. And Steve has better shit. Right. That's interesting. And, 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 what, what, I, what I think is more What's interesting than the actual sure. metrics, right? Instead of the acumen, right? Because I, I mean, I know how to analyze that business acumen. I've, I've been in business a long time, right? Retail. So I, I know how to read reports and, and do analysis. And just like the other Joe, Joe Smuckatellis have done retail, we all had to do reports. Get it, right? So when I look at to see uh, an indicators, right, of things or trends, I look at the, the patterns that show that my channel has been increasing, why has it been decreasing. I also look at the facts that. Um, when people go to his channel, they're not to go to support him. They are to ridicule him and watch him for the comedy. Yes, that's the point. Like Von Helton, the majority of Von Helton subscribers, like me, only go there to listen to what he's got right. to say. Right. I don't, see, I don't subscribe because I love the guy. I, I, I love the fucking lulz cows. But, but Stizer, you got again, here's the you got to look at these people as bizarre world. They're up as well, down, they're right as left. left. <laughs> they, are, they are the antithesis of reality, they are the opposites. This is demonstrated bizarre. time and time again, especially like just now when, and by the way, he took down this video, but he did say that he was being cut off by General Han Solo and not allowed to talk. He's got to be out of his fucking mind. Well, that, that, but not because that's all, that's his only defense, Steve. I said this before, before you even debated him. I said, I bet, yeah, when he comes in the room, you're going to crush his ass. He doesn't want to debate because he knows you're going to crush his ass. And then he's going to say, oh, anything happened and therefore it's Steve's fault. And even fucking Dragnaut said that to you. It, it, that's the way they play this game. The same with G-Man, the same with fucking Arcane Logos, all these fucking Christian fucking right-wing cunts. They want to play the game where it's your fault because it's your fault. But how do you blame the failure of Ill, being ill-prepared on the moderator and then worse, worse Try to rewrite history and say that you were being cut off. Do you think because they're are delusional? Are you kidding me? They don't care. They're delusional. They don't care that anybody else is watching. They just because they're in a little fucking echo chamber with all their little fangirls and fanboys in the same fucking room, all stroking each other's balls. They don't care what any other people think. I that's, the, that's the entire point. Why I don't even know why you engage with such low I don't IQ normally. people. Uh, Stizer, if you don't re remember correctly, I, know, I avoided I Ronnie like the plague for a year, and it wasn't like well, a to be fair. To be fair, to be fair, it was a challenge, and it was supposed to be about fun and charity. I, I, I that. Well, I challenge. I, I put the challenge out to anybody, um, you know, and I like when he, you did he, actual hangouts. To be fair, Steve, and that's just my opinion. Yeah. I like when you dealt with people like them two guys, them two dudes. Oh wait, okay, did. hang on, Stizer, hang on, time out. So instead of Edward Bradley. Addressing the fact we called him out for being a liar, he goes to a different topic and says, T was never proven wrong about the claim that DNA dissolves in water. Hey, fucking um, dipshit. Like two hey, different wow. hangouts about it. hey, dipshit. <laughs> DNA does dissolve in water, you fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. No, no, babe. Don't, 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 don't delete this comment. I want to restore this comment. Uh, don't keep going, Steve. God damn it. Can I restore that comment? Oh, god damn it. Obey fucking deleted the message. Can I undelete it? When his timeout is over, I think it comes back. Uh, he didn't. Just fucking keep going, Stig. Just keep beating him. Come uh, on. It fucking it... dissolves in water, bitch. Okay, so it says. So it says T was never uh, proven wrong that the claim DNA dissolves in water. Water. The jury is still out on that question. That was you. You are the dumbest motherfucker in my life feed right now. <laughs> Let me explain this to you again because we have explained this ad nauseum for well over two years or whatever the hell it's been. <laughs> DNA dissolves in water. Nobody says otherwise. Matter of fact, our, our argument is that he doesn't understand what that word means. 
Um, it's it's, it's just a theory on this. There's the fact that the DNA dissolves in water. It doesn't degrade in water. Yeah, and they're Ronnie two different types of things. They're, Ronnie thinks they're synonymous terms, but different, which he actually has said. He said he's literally, he's dissolve, and degree, dissolve and degrade mean the same thing. They're synonyms, but they mean different things. Mm. He's just as oh. fucking stupid as you. Wow. If you don't even he know just be trolling at this point. I, he is. I, I think he's... The he's guy in the live chat. That's, for, that's, no. for, well, that's I, probably TE. That's probably TE. Kaiser. 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 Relax. Right. Okay. <laughs> Hoktai is right. That's not the whole argument, but that, but, but, the, <laughs> the, but the majority of the argument is he doesn't know what these words mean. There's been so many things about this. I mean, this thing has taken a life of its own. So there's much more in this argument. He doesn't know what DNA means to go into solution. He doesn't know what these words mean. He doesn't know what synonymous means, for God's sake. Um, so when you have this, d these idiots coming over, you're like, oh, TE wasn't proven wrong that DNA dissolves in water. Why would he be? We all agree DNA dissolves in water. Yeah. Who the fuck would say anything? And otherwise, I've explained in detail what happens when it goes in solution. Hogtie has explained what happens when it goes in solution. I mean, how do these people look themselves in the mirror and not realize? How the fuck did they make cups of coffee? How the fuck did they make a cup of coffee and not realize chemicals? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like how, what? How, you, how do you make there? a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and not realize what you're saying is actually true? That's what I how, want to know. How do these people look themselves in the mirror when knowing that they lie so much? How did they get? I don't in the understand. I, I don't understand what the reasoning is to lie consistently. Are they God, pathological God, liars or no, God, God? God, God, yeah, that's the only excuse I can give. God made them lie so much. Yeah, and Mark Harrison says, "I can't believe the DNA water saga continues even now." Oh, this will be on till the day we die. I will never let this one go because Ronnie still brings it up. And what is so funny when he gets shot on one argument, he migrates to something completely different. I obliterated his whole ATP synthase turbine comparison analogy that he's been using for so long. And I'd even get in the nitty gritty of it. I basically had a very superficial presentation on it that I was hoping to get in more detail with, but you know, he, he ran away. But it destroyed his argument, and he knows it. Now he's moved on to stickleback fish or something <laughs> like that. Now, now, don't forget, don't forget, Steve, the G-Man is going to clear up this whole DNA and water thing. Oh, jeez, no. Oh, no, please. Is that uh, G-Man. Well, maybe before that happens, before that happens, see. Of all people, before that happens, Hogtie, you didn't see the, the hangout because it got deleted. Um, Ronnie took it down. But I kid you not, Ronnie literally said, quote, that he was being cut off. And yeah, the general was, was didn't want him to talk and kept asking him to, to stop that's, talking. That's, that's yeah. And it, and it, it, it has anybody did anybody else watch the hangout that he just had? Did anybody else hear him say that? Is that exactly no, what I saw off? he had a hangout, I didn't see it though. But I know some people recorded it though, Steve. Did they record it? Apparently they did. I I doubt it. I don't know. I don't think so. Well, apparently they did. Because she was asking him to stalk, stalk the channel. Well, not stalk, sorry. <laughs> to be informed about the channel. Yeah. And I, I think some people um, recorded that stuff before they had the chance to uh, delete it. He deleted it pretty fast, so they must have been on that. <laughs> well, you know, I'm on the ball most of the time. Tyler <laughs> said that, that turbine that turbine's bit was a stroke of genius. Was that your plan the entire time, or did you adjust on the fly when he gave his presentation time gave up his present time presentation time to you? Um, oh, I had a lot of things on the fly that I was prepared for. I had literally notes underneath saying, okay, you know, step A, if he does this, this, and this. I was prepared. Um, I we I didn't have to do any of that shit. Um my, my my it wasn't a plan. I wasn't trying to trick him. As a matter of fact, I went into this saying very clearly. I am not here to play a game of got you or shotgun him. Wasn't right? he, wasn't it, wasn't it he who challenged you, Steve? <laughs> no. Oh, well, yeah, you challenged no. it. Well, no. well, I, it, it. Well, I thought it, I thought the entire point was when, from what I understood was that you start having reasonable discussions with um, some people, you know, them with the two guys, etc. And he was saying, "Oh well, Steve wouldn't debate us because you know he's a pussy, etc., etc." He was like, "I'm quite happy to debate you." And it's done from that. Well, here's the thing. Ronnie had been for the longest time looking, oh, Steve, he's just so scared to, to debate me or, or talk to me. He runs to me, and I wanted to show people that, no, no, I'm not even remotely, inconceivably not, um, even slightly intimidated by Ronnie. Matter of fact, just the opposite. Um, I sure. have only said that I will not discuss things in a room that he has mod control. Or in his room, kind of thing, because we see what happens. He's always been welcome to come in here, and I wanted to demonstrate that I could provide a reasonable argument, and he'd be lost, and he'd just he'd just crumble. Um, 
I, I, in fact, I thought he would do a little bit better. I'm actually even surprised myself, but you know, whatever. I give people the benefit of the doubt. Ron, Ronnie, Ronnie's like a piss ball version of Darwin's deity. But, but what I find most amazing is not the, even the fact that he was so ill prepared. Yeah, that's to be expected a little bit. But the fact, uh, just like the name of this, this hangout, he already has taught, he hasn't even waited one day to rewrite history. It's still fresh in people's minds, and he's he still has the audacity to go out there and say, you know what? Yeah, General sucked as a moderator, and you know what? He kept cutting me off, and he was not allowing me to make my arguments. Wow, that takes H all the fucking steel. Steve, Man, do you honestly think right. he didn't? All right, can I ask another question? Just really quickly, Steve, would you do it again? What? W would you would you do this entire uh, debate thing again with him on the same show? <laughs> well, are you, are you, would you be willing to crush his ass again? I don't know what we would. Uh, probably not. I mean, no. Uh, only for the fact that you know what I gave him. I gave him his shot. Um, I told. I've, this is the very reason I didn't want to do a debate like this in the first place with him because I knew he would not understand the topic. He would not argue the topic. He would. He would. He did, he did exactly what he did in negation of p. He didn't understand the topic. Yeah. Negation of p our debate that he had. He had the same exact problem. If you remember, the topic was if intelligent design is true, how does it affect atheism? And he couldn't make that connection. But that doesn't make any sense. Well, well he, he, right, go ahead. Just, just the, the, the sad part about it in terms of whether uh, Steve would or should again or whether anybody else would. Um, there, there is some value in debating true empiricism or Nephilim free. And um, it's, it, it's sad because the value isn't in uh, what light is, is, is shone on these various issues, right? It's not about, well, we get to have some really good discussion. And get to sort of put the best gladiators forward on, on each of these issues. It's not. yeah, it's okay. Let's let's do it, and then let's see how these guys handle it, right? Because everybody's predicting this, right? I mean, why else would you? Could you imagine if it was like racquetball or squash or something? And we all knew, we all knew this guy in our town. He's just he's just a jerk. Like he lies about stuff. He cheats in every game. And then we say, oh, would you want to go play squash with that guy? They go, well, he's just going to cheat his ass off. Everybody's predicting that. He's just going to be a poor sport about it. Okay. Well, then why would you do it? Except for the fact to show that in, in this sort of an online discussion, that the same people who are calling everybody liars and wigging out all the time and coming up with all these weird conspiracy theory and psychoanalyzing everyone, come up with all these bizarre motivations, they're the ones that when you say, okay, let's just get into it and do a fair thing, then you just stand back and go... Look what he did. Look, look at how he reacted. He didn't prepare for the thing. He accused the moderator of cheating in seven different ways. And okay, hog tie, hog tie. Okay, I agree with you there. Would you would you think then, Steve and other people who have got big brains, I would say, in that regards, would you say you guys should stop wasting your time with with the chaff? I, I don't. I don't even don't even care to answer the question about wasting. Uh, I mean, I get this for as long as I've been I mean, doing this. I'm saying, like, it, it, okay, what well, is so that's the, the other thing? The reason I don't have to answer it is because you're just going to interrupt me in the first sentence anyway. Sorry. Well, that's an answer. Vlad Stye is finally saying what needs to be said, though. I wanted to say that for who knows how long. It feels yeah, like a big waste of time dealing with these people. Everything's like, a waste of what? time. No, it's not. It's no, like, it's what? no, so something. I, I've been in Steve's hangout where I've literally sat there, like, and, you know, Steve's gone, like, you can't get in because you're a fucking troll. I'm fine. But I watched it, and he's and he's had a productive fucking hangout with people I vehemently disagree with. But the fucking pro the 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 production value of what's being learned has been actually good. I've mm -hmm. learned someone's position. I've understood their position, right or wrongly. I've understood it. This is futile. Yeah, and I yeah. I don't understand why. I do understand why Steve's doing it, like he should explain on what you're trying to say, Hogtie. But at the same time, it's frustratingly fucking annoying because I'm like, well, you could be doing shitloads more for the community, actually having hangouts that are productive to people who want to learn about it instead of being dogmatic. Because you're arguing with a wall that doesn't get you anywhere. Well, he yeah, does that. He does that. They're, not susceptible, they're not susceptible to even like, okay, well, we'll agree to this. They're not even, they will just lie and they just call you a fucking liar. 
Yeah, like, I, know, I like your squash analogy there, uh, Hawkeye, and I think that's kind of uh, very apropos because, you know, who wants to play a game of, uh, with somebody that you know is going to lie and cheat and, and rewrite the rules, right, yeah. and rewrite the, the history of what happened? I'm done with it, and I, and, I, and I admonish people that this shows just how, how unknowledgeable, unprepared and these, these guys are, and they just want to play a game. That's all they're looking for. I mean, did you listen to his after hangout? The butt hurt was palatable. I could taste the butt hurt because well, he just he, he he was. I was going to say real quick, you know, he didn't want to address anything that I even talked about, and he just, just said, "Look, Steve didn't address this and this." He mentioned something for literally like ten seconds near the end, and then said, "Oh, well, Steve didn't address it." It's like you didn't even pay attention to my. If I asked him right now about anything that I presented in my presentation, do you think he could say, "Oh, yeah, Steve had a slide about this, this, and this"? No, he wasn't paying attention. Well, I mean, the thing is, it's not like you, you just learned that, that he was going to uh, be a poor sport about it, you know, not do well, and then wig out about it afterwards. You, you knew that going into it. So the oh, question, yeah, I mean, you're, you're listing all these reasons why you wouldn't debate him again, but then it raises the question about, well, then, well, then why did you, knowing all, and you're not surprised, you, I mean, you're a little bit surprised because it was actually worse than I think people expected, but, but why would you do it? Now, my understanding was you put out a general challenge to anybody, and then probably even a little surprised because, you know, Ronnie's been hiding under the bed for so long, he doesn't really do debates all of a sudden well now he wants to do i one. thought it was gonna be more g-man to be honest with you i, yeah. I, I was Whereas, kind of open for ronnie but whatever yeah. well i think if you, it was i think if you, if you would have um if you would have then said oh well no i should have clarified i'll debate anybody but ronnie well fuck we'd have been you know the next year would have been ronnie going oh you know so steve's running away right. from me running away from me. so at that point you had to say okay that's fine so so i think that's a big part of the motivation why you why you went ahead with it because you're just like well you can't not do it now and okay oh, no, well, no, no 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 i think you misunderstand i i was kind of expecting ronnie to bite that i oh, mean okay. I, I fish i was fishing i was okay. fishing for ronnie there's no i'm not even gonna pull any bones about it i was certain that at one of them, I thought it would be more more G man, but I was like, ah, come on, Ronnie, bite on this one, bite on this one, because I already had some of this presentation done from the last debate I had. It was I offered him right? Yeah. Well, so. to clarify what my squash analogy is too, this the, the feature isn't. Um, well, if you knew somebody who's just a shitty squash player, why would you want to play squash with them? It was. It's, it's when that person walks around and talks, how awesome, talks about how awesome they are at squash and what a great sport they are and how everybody else is a jerk. And he's just known for being a jerk that it gets to a point where you say, okay, fine, I'll play him. Everybody sit and watch, get your iPhones out and make sure to record this because he's going to be an asshole. And then sure enough, he's, you know, hitting you in the backs of the legs with his racket and just doing stupid shit. Right. And then you can stand back and go, yeah, that's what it's like. This is what it's like having a conversation with someone from that group. You know, it's a, uh, but yeah, but that's that's fine. I agree with that, Hogtie. That that's that. I agree. That's that's a good position or a, a thing to point out. But I would hope in future, in my opinion, that Steve doesn't bother anymore because I. Well, much I'm not going to bother debating him. No. No, well, no. What I'm saying is, I wouldn't. I would prefer you to not to debate any of them. Well, I, I, can't, I don't know. engage with any of them because I, I well, what's the point? I, I, do you I want do you want to educate your fucking subscribers or do you want to, die. do you want to be lols cut? Die. die. I don't engage with any of them. You haven't seen no. me in a hangout of theirs in, in this no. year. Yes, yeah, I know. I'm just saying about I'm, them repeatedly. It's different. Yeah, right, because that I'm, but that's what I'm yeah. And the problem with that That's not necessarily a good thing. But that's what my channel's about, Thadius. I mean, are you are you so unaware of what my channel's about? No, I understand what it's about, okay, but good, good. you could do different to topics that have just the same old you have thing. Not, have you not again. paid attention to my channel? Do you not see Landon? Yes, I have. Okay, no, good. Don't, don't hate on Ted just because we both are saying the same true thing. Yeah, and I, 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 I would prefer you to have intellectual debates with actual people, even though you disagree with them. I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in that, Stry. That's not my so, thing. So, what, you were doing your lols cows all the time? Yeah, yeah, my yes, my channel's entertainment, not not. So then, uh, what's the fucking difference yeah. between you and anybody fucking else then? Nothing. <sighs> well, there you go. There's no fucking point. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know why you have this strange disillusion here, people. My channel. Because I expect you to so, be fucking I'm better than than than, than just fucking Stye. the debate. Stai, I'm self-aware. Okay, I'm not going to go and debate fucking William Lane Craig or debate Dembski. I'm not on that level. Okay, I mean, I will debate somebody like Ken Hoven, and I did, you know, I not debate him, but I mean, let's have a conversation with him because I can no one can trounce him, right? Because he's you know creationist. But if I have somebody who's like a PhD in in, in uh, ge ge uh, genetics, like Tomkins, come in, I can't debate him. I'm not on that level. 
I'm self-aware, but I do. But 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 I do have other people that are on that level. No, and but you can, case, you can ask questions. Why do you keep interrupting me, Sty? Let me finish. Okay. So I will host hangouts and allow people that I know are experts in these fields, or at least have far more knowledge than I have, to engage on that level. That is not what I do. I am not here to debate these these, you know, people with a much more high level experience than I have. However, I will discuss them. Right, but that's will, fine. Okay, that then, then, then I don't understand the problem. Well, the the problem is, yeah. I, I would like personally because I know what you want to achieve. Stop going for the low hanging fruit. I not going for the low hanging fruit. You are. Fact, T -E is low hanging fruit. Oh my God, Steiser! Have you seen my emails? Have you seen me trying to get Jeffrey Tompkins in here? Andrew Snelling, Todd. Dude, I have. I have. And, and, and I have. hold on, it's, it's not. It's not just that either. It's not like, you know, I mean, people can say whether it's worth engaging, you know, Ronnie or G-Man at all. But but I don't know why it's, it almost sounds like we're discussing, why does Steve, like, just use his channel just constantly to deal with these guys? I mean, I look at, so. Steve I goes for diversity, right? So sometimes we have some good, mm -hmm. good discussion, you know, with Alex Malpass or yep. Mary Schweitzer, or Hugh Ross and Fazrana have been here. Like, I mean, there, there's there's a, a wide array of, of discussion, right? I and part of what you do, so sometimes you go to, a, you know, I use the, the backyard barbecue analogy. Well, sometimes you'll go do one of their hangouts or you'll do, okay, well, fine. We'll do a little one-on-one -on -one, uh, or moderated debate or something. But I mean, Steve does not invest a significant amount of his time or any other resources he has for our little online community into chasing down true empiricism and Nephilim free. Right. He did, he did it this once. Yep. And I think it, it, it was a, an interesting illustration, something for people to talk about. And, and it sort of, you know, shows what the characters are like. And then tomorrow's a new day. I mean, I don't, I don't see I, a repeat next week. Like, so I what? I, I guess I the problem is it's different. It should be different topics more often because it seems like it's always, well, at least Same recently, thing. it's always been evolution versus my channel. My channel is again, my channel is set up. To debunk with creationism. That's like saying, so hey, Red, all you talk about. That's like, saying, that's like, okay. saying, hey, I, I, that's like saying, that's like saying, Red's rhetoric, all you do is talk about flat earth. No, stay. I'm going to tell you. He's stuff. talked about other things before, actually. And so have I. No, but no, but hold on. Red, red, red's a bit different. Red. He does edited videos, and it's not like a big eight hour long hangout that you have to kind of sift through to find the good parts. Yeah, yeah. I have two different types of things. I have videos that we make, right? And I have hangouts. More hangouts than edited videos. I'm just saying. Yes, but that's my channel. Do you want? I mean, I, I don't understand your criticism. Of that that is my channel. I'm I'm not. I have no self illusion about okay. it being any different. No, hold on. In in every in every walk of life, right? If you got a job, right? They call it create a, a constructive criticism. We're trying to be constructive. We're not trying to say. No, I, I get I get that, but I, it seems like you guys, to both of you guys, don't even watch my shit. Because well, we do. Well, that's the point. We, we do. do. We it right you want like a <laughs> lot of subs. A lot of people prefer edited videos and everything. I don't. Rather say to say it is, I don't want to do that. Okay, and I have enough subs. I am not looking to be the next logic or the next armored skeptic. I will never reach that level. Well, I, I don't. You stay. I don't want you to do that, right? But what I would like as a subscriber, right? As just me personally, I don't. I'm not speaking for anybody else. For me. I like it when you have actually intellectual conversations with people you honestly disagree with. Now, you just said, honestly, there may be some people you invite to the, to the channel that you can't debate with, but you can host it. That's what I want. I don't want to watch the same old, same old shit that's they been don't. going on fucking Google then Plus don't. for the past 10 years. Sizer, I'm not here to please you. Then no, don't. you're not. Okay. You're, you're, you're not. Don't. I appreciate shit. your input. But you don't understand the fact that I have a lot of people that I have a, a catered to. And a lot of people like this format. A lot of people want to see the more hangouts. A lot of people listen to the stuff while they at work, while they're doing other things. I have Patreons that have a very, you know, they tell me what they want to see. And, and I and I have a, an obligation to them to provide, you know, hangouts at certain times or um, a, a, at least a variety of different hangouts. Um, but here's the thing. I am not here to have strictly intellectual conversations. I'm here to enjoy myself, uh, be entertained, entertain people, and as well as to, to provide some kind of income from it. Um, but but that's fine. That well, at least you're yeah. being honest. But well, yeah, if I've, you, I've been be nothing honest. but honest. 
Well, if you're gonna if you're gonna be honest, remove that fucking topic, the great make community, because everybody I know remembers that as atheism versus theism. That was six or seven years ago, and it's still the same shit. It. It's still has, the same topic. No, it's that has evolved way past just atheism versus theism. how? How's it evolved? I've been here from the beginning. Tell because me how it's evolved. It, 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 I was here. I was here before it you. Was never even, just right? about Sizer. It was never just about atheism theism. That was yes, it was. One, no, it was. Yes, it was. The great debate community is always being based on fucking theism versus atheism. That Which was not, the overlying topic, but there's yes. other subtopics within. Yes. Yeah, but, but it that's, that's like that's now it's normal. shifted to mostly only yeah. evolution versus. Yeah, and, 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 and here's the thing, you know, um, the the great debate community, um, you know, it's it's more of a mindset. It's people that want to engage with other people and talk about topics that you know your average schmuckatelli isn't really have much interest in, or you're not going to be able to talk to your coworker. Uh, with or something like that. That's what the Great Debate Community said about. It's not just theism and atheism because that's not a topic that I have much interest in. And, and I will point out, Annabelle makes a brilliant uh, notation in the live feed. I had my highest viewer count yesterday um, because of this, th because with the debate with Ronnie. Yeah. The, the after show. That was my highest. I broke 100. That's the highest viewer count that I've ever had. Yeah, because it was okay. Skull's count. That, that's what my channel's about, Stizer. It's not here to educate. It's not here to inform. Okay, well, well, okay then. That's fine. I'm not it's doing here to laugh and, and Steve, make. I, it, Steve, I like you. Steve, when have I ever said anything you do is fucking wrong? You're entitled to your own shit. I'm just saying, for me personally, I like the intellectual shit, right? I, if you I, want, I, if you, if you're saying it's it's all about everything, but that's fine. No, I I'm just saying. There you go. I appreciate that. That's, that makes that makes sense to me. What you just said. Yeah, what you just said, I, I, I mean, you, you like that that other side, but I get that. I thought you were trying to imply that I should only do that. So if I misunderstood you, I no, I'm not. The fuck, okay. no, I'm not saying that. Why no. the fuck did I say that? No, I'm just saying okay. this. That I prefer that because I like listening to you make reasonable arguments or positions, and I like the opposite side making their positions. I mightn't agree with them, but I like that shit. I like the logical, you know. Clash of, yeah, of I think a lot of people do, and I, I appreciate would, that. Yeah, I wouldn't no. even go as far as that. If you want to go more on the low hanging fruit, I mean, I'd still be happy with that. It's just I like to see different low hanging fruit. It feels like sometimes all you'd focus on is just because they're the, the funniest. See, now that's yeah. his opinion, yeah. not mine. I, I, no, yeah, I, 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 exactly. <laughs> you're absolutely wrong on that. We the, I, this comedy gold when you have somebody who says, "Hey, look, it does all many grade are synonymous terms, but they mean different things." I can't write things something like that. You cannot make up that degree of dumb fuckery, right? Yeah. But I mean, I've been in a hangout with you, and we've had good fucking laughs, Steve. And you know, I you know I like it when you have good conversations, <laughs> and like I'm, I wouldn't tell you how to run your shit, obviously. But I that's just my opinion. You know, cool. yeah, and you, you take them as they come too. Uh, it's not there, there was a time when there was a greater range uh, and diversity amongst yeah, the, the they all kind of went away. Well, I think, yeah, well, I wouldn't mind when they came back. I mean, Venom Fang and uh, and uh, who was that other one? Um, the one that used to ride the bike, the motorcycle all around town. Oh, Shock yeah, of God. Shock of God, Shock yeah. Of God. Yeah. Yeah. you know, bring them yeah, back. He's no fun. Venom Fang X is fun to talk to because <laughs> he's, no he's fun. crazy. That guy's crazy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Venom Fang X. He reminds me of Six Shades. Yeah. Oh God, no, I can't. No. <laughs> six, six, six Shades is not normal, dude. But, <laughs> I know, but dude, he's, he's, he's interesting. That's no, the best he's, part. He's just yeah. he's. I don't remember my motto. I don't deal with people. I feel. Um, I what the fuck you doing with TV? Our, well, <laughs> well, I, well, wait, I, didn't, I didn't even finish the sentence. I didn't finish the sentence. I don't, finish the sentence. I don't deal with people that I think are psychotically dangerous. How about that? Mm. I think no, TV I, I feel a lot of people are psychotically like dangerous. That's, that, that's no standard to live by. I mean, I'm even psychotically <laughs> dangerous. You're living on the edge. Okay, whatever. You're, 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 you know, you're, you're living I'm on the edge. I'm taking that myself on a drink. Fuck you, that. This, yeah. We're going to get pissed. <laughs> but people in the live feed are saying, you know, some of the reasons they do become a patron of my channel is that they see a little bit of diversity and they like that. Um, they like the average hangout. They like this late night like this um, when we could get a bunch of people together and find some dumb fuckery to talk about. In this case, the dumb fuckery was the fact that literally not a day has gone by in Ronnie's rewriting history. You you can't you can't even you can't even predict something like that. I don't think even Hogtie would he have even said that literally he would have said that he was cut off by uh, General Han Solo when we know straight up that not once did that ever happened. I, I'm not even slightly I, surprised. I, 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 maybe not. That's just, I guess that's just not. standard standard pattern. Standard OP operating yeah. procedures. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Hey, Stai, I, I was, was going to say, because, you know what, the thing is, I know we have our criticisms, but Steve, it's his channel. He can run it how he wants. 
the thing is, if you if you really want like those intellectual yeah, conversations, you that. might just you might just want to you'd run like your own shows. I mean, the thing is, I would plan to start up like a podcast here with another Google Plus person, waiting for him to get back to Vegas. Right now, he's he's somewhere else. So I can't really. It's supposed to be on his channel, so it's gonna wait till he comes back. But the thing is, we want to approach things a little bit differently. And I can't ask Steve to approach things like that because you know well, what? There's a well, way you me. want to do things. Well, there's a certain way you want to do hold things. On, hold on, hold on, Thaddeus. If if you want to throw me a a, a thing, I, I mean, I used to do one with um, a good friend of mine. Still, it's a good friend of mine. You haven't seen him around. He's on Discord a lot. Um, we used to call our show Beyond the Bullshit, where we just used to talk about the the the, the whole G plus thing and how people react in communities and how they're. They're all in the, their own thing, and that's cool. I like the way Steve does his shit, though, right? I I'm, I can't take away what Steve does, but I understand where you're coming from. I would like to approach it that way because I'm more politically inclined to talk about different subjects, right, and, and not the whole God thing all the time or ID because I don't want to waste my time with people who want to argue about ID. Steve does because that's what Steve wants to do, and that's fine with him. I want to drag it in a different way. Yeah, so no matter your criticisms, he's kind of just going to do what he's going to do. So glad yeah, you got your things out there. I'm glad someone else kind of agrees with me a well, little sad bit. Well, sh sh show, sh show me some love. If you, me, me Skype dies or so, hit me up on that shit. Doesn't matter. Uh, well, I don't really – I want to approach it in a – a different way than even you so <laughs> well that well that's fine I, I i mean i don't know it's just i i appreciate what steve does but i i think steve has a point but because i've been using g plus forever basically it, it it's nice to see people evolve right like i knew steve way before steve even come on g plus most of the people are new that i that that most people consider you know um people i i remember fucking xbox when he when he swore to god he was a fucking atheist and now he's some kind of fucking i don't know what the fuck he is to be now he's not what he is anymore yeah, i don't know fuck knows. People, but, people but that's the point people change right so the evolution of it's interesting and steve's like oh i have to interact with these people to prove a point in some way and i'm like you don't but that's Steve not what i no I, I i that's not the, at all i don't have to prove a point to anybody i'm not here to prove anything to anybody um, I'm here to provide, you know, a, a, a forum You're for so people. Smart. I, you know, I like to have people come in. Um, as Doctor put in the live feed there on the group chat, you know, Land and Kurt Noah is not the same old, same old. I like having those types of people come in, and we have a great discussion. I mean, what we don't have to get very technical. We just have talk. And by the way, Landon keeps trending me uh, direct messaging. Uh, he liked the hangout. He really enjoyed that. He wants to yes. come back. I've and, seen the hangouts, dude. It's and, and, they've been awesome. So much. You guys may not really, really realize this guy is a guy that literally has the ear of Stephen Hawking. Right? I mean, he literally has the ear of Leonard Susskind. Um, he's not to be, he's no joke, right? I mean, if you have the ear of Stephen Hawking, you cannot be somebody who doesn't know your shit, right? He's 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 eight time world record holder. That's just, I mean, sure this, guy, <laughs> this guy this guy's serious business, right? And he's nice. No, he's but right. I and mean, you, do you, wait, wait, wait. And do you know do you know who my next the guest we're working on? Go on. Uh, he's actually his name's Alex Filipchenko. He is a um, professor at Berkeley. He's one of the top astrophysicists in the world or astronomers in the world. Okay, but that, that's what I want to see. Now, okay, it might be okay. my bad yeah. that I don't want to listen to TE and you discuss fucking his stupid yeah, okay. idea. Just, I was, I'm just yeah. personally tired of true empiricism. I'm, I'm just tired of you. I'm tired of idiots in G+. Okay, we're just, never, we're never going to get tired. We're, we're never we've gonna get really tired. covered it. We've covered it so much. Yeah. Has anybody noticed that the um, – I noticed that the titles are different on these videos, and I look at the video ID – there's one called Evolutionary BS, mm. with a video ID of YQL something. And then there's one called Evolutionary BS from Steve, with a video he, ID. His first of one didn't take. He had a, a microphone <laughs> issue, and he had to stop, like, I don't know, like three minutes in, so he started it over again. Oh, so one's really short and not. It was the yeah. second one. Yeah, that, yeah. Okay. Because I know there are people out there looking, asking to see if somebody had captured it while it was airing. Um, it doesn't, think, doesn't yeah. seem like anyone had. I think Drag North did, to be fair. Hmm. So I'm Should I say that out loud? I don't know. Um, you, you already did. Here okay. in the live feed, this is the guy that um, I'm working to get next. Um, 
I, okay, I, thanks. Yeah. So his, his name is Alex Philip Philip Chinko. Um, he's uh, works for you know, or he teaches at the Department of Astronomy for UC Berkeley. Um, okay. Yeah, that would be awesome. You know. Well, I, so, I, mean, I, gotta, I, I I try to get actual professors and um, you know. Okay, can I tell you my next two celebrities? Well, not celebrities, but I've got Matthew Kaku as my first guest for my show. Um, I haven't been able to try to get it. I, I did reach out to him, but I haven't heard anything. But, Dude, but it's easy. Just email us. us. He, he well, I know people. how to do it, and I did, um, but I haven't I've followed up on it. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to ask him, though. I kind of like shit myself when he said yes. I was like, oh, okay, I don't know what to do. <laughs> how do you? I, I messaged him, but I didn't get any response back. Maybe my question was better than yours. Fuck knows. Hmm. I don't know, dude. They, I mean, to be fair, most of us just like so. Stai is gonna Stai is gonna to engage with <laughs> Matthew uh, Kaku. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know that sounds the strangest thing ever, but it's still better than intelligent design by a stretch. Hmm. Well, I, I'll reach out to him again because I would like him as a guest, um, dude. Honestly, he does do it. I don't know why, but he he says yes. Yeah. I think it must be like a schedule thing or something. So why don't you just have it on my channel then? Well, I will have you can ask him after he goes on Stye's channel to go on Steve's channel. Well, well I mean, I, is well, I mean if you got it on mine, it's just, well, I'm not going to have it on this because I want the views. I'm only kidding. I'm not a view person. and I don't have a Patreon or anything of that nature. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you put it on mine, I mean, like I said, you know. You well, get, to help you now, if I can get it, I can get it on your shit. Like, but with that yeah. sort of shit, though. Yeah, no, I mean, like I said, I have reached out to him before, but uh, yeah. it is what it is. Hmm. Well, when, when is he supposed to be available? Well, soon. Mm -hmm. I eat like a month or two, hopefully. Price. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to set up my channel first. You know, also, even, I wouldn't even mind getting some actual people that are actually more in a community to get more discussion with. Like, I mean, I would love just a little how I would like, you know, Alex, Alex Malpass, you know, he's been in here and stuff like that, but he usually gets like, yeah, kind of yeah, pushing. You tried that and he almost put you to sleep. <laughs> I I like and you know what I but I like him I mean when when he doesn't go off on that real deep stuff it is entertaining he's actually very very awesome I don't like the real deep stuff right mm -hmm. but I would like funny, him to be a guest that was actually happy. rather funny because uh, he was going on with his explanation you're typing this out he's like and you ask didn't Putman have something like this. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. And I was like, th that's what Alex is explaining. That was so His funny, too. That's exactly what happened. And by the way, I know Alex would. I talk to Alex all the time. But uh, that, that was exactly what happened. Alex was talking about something, but he was talking about it on such a level, I didn't even know what the hell. And I and I actually said, I said, you know, this reminds me of something that Hillary Putnam had made an argument for using constraints to try to, to say that um, we aren't a brain in a vat. And doctor's like, uh, dude, that's kind of what he's actually talking about right now. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> like, but I'm like, I'm like, he's not speaking English here. I, I, I he was trying to explain the causal English. constraint principle. <laughs> what? Yeah, what it was, you... yeah, exactly. The causal constraint principle. And I have read upon this, right? I mean, it's one of those things that, you know, I I just had read about, you know, I read things. And I was like, yeah, this what? reminds me of this causal constraint how the, argument. How the... <laughs> how the fuck did you know? How the fuck did you get through nuclear school and not know that's a fucking principle of mathematics anyway? That's what I want to know. What? The, when you just said the constraint principle is actually the mathematics. causal constraint. No, that's a thing of philosophy. No, it, it's not. It, it's an equation. No, it's what what we're talking yeah. about is about language, basically the meanings of words being caused by things external to us from the, our actual causal yeah. connection yeah, to the external world. This has nothing to do with mathematics. Yeah, no, how does it? No, oh, hold on. Well, the the, the premise is, oh, God, I, you know, when I used to say the word axiom, people used to go, oh, fucking axiom. Well, the, the, the problem is, right, we formulate something, right, based on our existence, right? Now, linguistically speaking, if the external is language, which is, I guess, I, um, that other bloke with the gray hair, is about 90. Noam Chomsky, there you go. Right? He proposes that in order for you to understand um externalism in linguistics only right it would require you to understand other people's language so it, it you can't be a brain in a vat because of language in and of itself now i don't know if that's true or not in the whole but i'm just using that as an example right that, that's his proposal now in the equation as we're saying in order for you to propose the axiom the axiom would actually have to be true now, you can't determine the action is true, right, so to speak. 
So therefore, any other uh, the afterwards equals, right, would be an assumption. But we know that's not true. Why do we know that's true? Because we have this thing called objectivism, which means that two people separate from each other can experience the same thing without any connection, right? So if you're on one side of the planet, you jump up and down, and the person on the other side of the planet jumps up and down, they experience the same thing. And they don't need any connection whatsoever at all. You ran off. You ran off hogtie. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. He had to go crash. <laughs> But I'm just saying, it's 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 weird, right? It's like when people say the world's flat. Well, we know the world's not flat because we can use a very basic experiment, which Lawrence Krauss has pointed out. If you have a well in one part of the, the country um, uh, at certain points of daytime, and you have a well at the other side of, of the country, even though it's far away, you can literally do it by the shadows. All you need to do is measure the shadows of the circumference on one side versus the other, and you can work out the circumference of the planet, the Greeks did it. And that's why people who say the world's flat are completely stupid. The Greeks yeah, worked that thing. On a different note. Um, hey, doctor. Sorry. Hey, um, you remember the thing we talked about before um, about the advertisement stuff? Of uh, why, you know, YouTube's like demonetizing shit? Yes. Uh, um, Somebody has said, I thought it was you that said uh, they're still putting advertisements on the videos, but people aren't getting monetized for it. Nobody's seen an advertisement my video, even though they're all monetized. I have not seen an advertisement on any of my videos. Hmm. I'd block them, baby. They, they just I'd literally block. have vanished, and that's why I'm getting nothing from them. So I don't know how to go about, you know, what, what do I got to put in the, in the in the titles? You know, cats you don't. with lasers. Um, no, just put, just make sure you sign up to Ad Save and use Patreon. Fuck YouTube. Well, no, I am, I am using Patreon, and, and, and like I said, you know, there was something actually that was nice enough to actually cover the difference. They actually Patreon to me for quite a substantial amount a month um, to make up oh, that, that lost revenue, and I was just shocked, um, and I appreciate it immensely, uh, and I and I want to be able to, like, do something for it. So, I mean, you know, I, anybody, anybody who's a Patreon, if, if you're, you know, a dollar or more, because that's the minimum it can be, you know, I will help. I will try to get hangouts to a topic that you enjoy. I'll make a presentation on a subject you enjoy. Fuck, um, I give you fine. money already. I want fucking actual fucking conversations, not with fucking TE. There you go. That's my I think, fucking Patreon money, I think, you, I think you gave me a dollar once, didn't you? No, I didn't. No. Well, didn't you give me a dollar? It was, it was substantially more. For uh, whatever. That's right. You're you're overseas, so. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm anonymous. <laughs> but I do, I do contribute. But I would like you to do actual fucking conversations, not TE. Don't fucking waste your time with these idiots. I would like. Okay, you know what? To be fair, you haven't. I, I've got to say this: you haven't. This is the first time. Fa to be fair, you've engaged with the G plus in the way that I dislike. Yeah, and I don't you go over guys, there, right? I don't go over yeah, to the guys. Out. I really like them two dudes. Remember the two dudes you've had on twice? Whom? Um, the baldy guy and the other dude. Oh, uh, Doctor Hugh Ross. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I fucking love that. It was so yeah, interesting. Okay, yeah, that was a, yeah. because it was so cool. It was relaxed. It was there was no like heated. It wasn't like you know, no. me you versus. But it was just a nice conversation. We yeah. we agreed to disagree, but fuck the conversation was interesting. I love that yeah. shit, dude. I mean, yeah, I, dude. I'm, I'll get that back on eventually. I'm I'm just buying. You time can, on Steve. That, you know. But I'll tell them what you were saying, on your channel if you want. Um, I'm not even entirely sure what you would have to do at this point because no one. They really just strip it. Did they just strip them from Hangouts, or is that the? Uh, I mean, what? What? Uh, I have no idea what's going on. The, the part of the problem is we don't really know what YouTube has done. Like they've released a bit of information, but it's so vague we don't know. Maybe entire channels just got flagged for nope, no advertisers on here. Because there's some really weird and inconsistent stuff where it was like people didn't make age restricted videos, and they can log on, they can see that you know all my videos are still up there, and they're ask their friends if they saw the video they uploaded or something, and they go, no. And they would go on and search on their account, and they realize that even though it's not age-restricted, YouTube had it unlisted. Well, it's the page, in it Because <clears throat> at the moment, apparently, a lot of advertisers don't want their advertisements on certain videos. So Google, YouTube, are trying to reformulate the algorithm, i.e. to just stop doing it to try and figure out how they can get advertisements on the most popular videos of popular shit. Well, it's so just like, some people's ad revenue just plummeted and other people's just 
completely disappeared. Mine just disappeared, went to zero. Yeah. Um, my yeah. ad, there's no ads on my videos, meaning that YouTube's not making anything either. No, it's not. It's the fact that they're trying to reconfigure how they, how they advertise because the advertisers are complaining to YouTube, Google, like I said, that their advertisements are going to the wrong people. Dude, in the United Kingdom, they're complaining that there's Google, hang, uh, not Google, the, there's advertisement placements, which is powered by Google, which is literally on like ISIS web pages for like, do you want to buy a car? No, I get that. I no, understand they're that. they try to fix it. It's, it's not just Google slash YouTube. It's how the algorithm works across the internet. They're trying to... Right. I get, I get this. Yeah. You're not understanding what I'm saying. No, I know. That my videos have no advertisements, which means that YouTube is not making anything. So it behooves them to put advertisements on things. No, right? just me. It, it's, it's, it, cost, it, it costs them more money and liability. No, no. That's not how it works, Steiser. They get, re they get, whenever you get a, an ad and somebody clicks on it or views the, the thing, they get about, I think it's 40% of that click, whatever that is. And then uh, you get, you get about 10% and if you that, got less. you got less, yeah, whatever it is. And, and then the, you know, whatever they, you basically get next to nothing, but you, they, they, they get the verse, the majority of it. Yes. Um, if nobody has any ads. Then nobody's making any money. They're not getting nope. a dime. No, but the the point is the advert the people who pay YouTube are the people who are telling them to fix their shit. It, you see, you got to understand YouTube is a medium for advertisements. The yes. advertisement people are not paying YouTube. That's why there's no fucking ads because yes, they, the ad well, yes. well, hang it's on, costing are, Google shitloads, obviously. Yeah, there, there, are, there are there are some advertisers that pulled out, like AT and T and Verizon, but. Uh, um, there are still advertisements available. I mean, there's still people that are making advertisement or you know paying YouTube to advertise. But anyways, this 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 is hangout uh, has to be coming to a close. It is getting late. I know people are going to bed. Um, I just sorry, but um, you know, I just wanted people to be noticed that you know ha, that Ronnie deleted his last hangout, so you can't validate this. But uh, unless somebody delete to download it, if you do, let me know. We did. Dark Notes got it. Does Dragon have the last hangout? I I, I think so. Yeah. I don't know, but he basically, don't like I said, he, 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 I think, I won't. Yeah. he already rewrote history and said that he was being cut off in that debate. And I find that to be just disgusting because he had all the time in the world. He was asked multiple times. Do you want more time? He was so ill prepared. And, you know, they, he went to his channel and said, you know, Steve did this, this, this conspiracy, blah, blah, blah. I mean, Ronnie has to come to terms that he is nowhere near the caliber or league of, of pretty much everybody that comes to my channel. Anybody that's in my live feed is infinitely more intelligent than he is. Um, but there's obviously some exceptions like uh, that, that one guy who claimed that uh, he has more subs than me, but he has no idea oh, that fuck. He, that's true or not, right? Fuck that, um, so, I mean, there are some trolls, but for the most part, you know, the people that watch my channel are not dumb people. They see through this shit. They don't need me to point it out. But I enjoy pointing it out when I notice things. And when I heard him say that literally he was being cut off, I was like, wow. And what when and what Ronnie went to go do was like, oh well, Steve says that, you know, if we find grass and dung, well. it seems if well. we, just put, we, we just push it back. Well, yeah. Well, when you're dealing with <laughs> time scales of like that nature, yes, you can. It doesn't destroy the the model. And matter of fact, JD. Was, was a little bit critical saying that I, I didn't explain the difference between a high risk and low risk proposition or uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, predictions very well. Um, and yet I didn't have time to, I mean, that, that really wasn't something we could suss out. And I wasn't able to even in the uh, dialogue we had in the comment section, get into that. But I certainly could have. And I said, JD, do you think I do not understand the difference between a low risk prediction and a high risk core prediction? And he's like, of course you do. You just didn't explain it very well, but you did really well. I'm like, I didn't have a chance to explain it, explain it at all. I, I think the problem is here, right? Can I just say this? I think the problem is what you're trying to explain and what he's trying to propose are somewhat two different issues in regards to he's trying to, he's trying to come at it from a different position and you're coming at it from a position I feel is correct. That's the problem. And he's trying to go, oh, uh, 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 and make excuses. And then... He's diverting the fact that he can't debate you on certain issues and then blaming the moderator. And that's the way I feel from this, from my perspective anyway. And 
is that a shock to anybody who watches your hangouts or is on G Plus? No. And and that's yeah. the sad part that... about it. That's the sad part because it's not a shock that he would do that or his little group of fanboys or whatever. Then we go, You're oh, right. it, it, it's fucking, it's their fault. It, it, because even when you was going to debate him last week, right? Well, Steve's going to get the blame. And and what happens, Steve? You get the blame. Because you fucking come up, even Mr. Intelligent Design was like, he presented the shit better. I don't agree with it, but he presented the shit better. There you go. If someone who fundamentally disagrees with your opinion, Steve, says to you <laughs> that you presented, you know you've won, dude. Come on. Yeah, I, yes. yeah, I'm, I'm overwhelmingly I won. I'm not even concerned about that. I mean, it, it, you won't buy default. Fact, <laughs> right. There was like two, two, two trolls that said he had won, but Fuck there was. Off. You notice that none of them had actually watched it. Gmail didn't watch it. Um, and Tony didn't watch it. Uh, Didi didn't watch it. So fucking heavy. Yeah, I had no idea. And then, and, and then, and Tony had the audacity to say, "Oh well, you know, I'm I'm gonna watch it and I'll give my critique to it." And yet he was licking his, his balls the entire time, saying what a wonderful job he did. <laughs> it's like, okay. Well, I'm just gonna, um, as much as I I disagree with Mister Intelligent Design on Intelligent Design, I'm gonna agree with him that you presented an actual, you know, thing. With like a stormy ball yeah. thing or whatever, you presented it better. It's not that it's true or not. It's just if you're gonna argue a case, then present it well, so then other people can go, okay, does that make sense? Does that, you know, I, I'm just saying. It, it, somebody's some, somebody's asking for the uh, debate link in the live feed. I'll put it in for you right now. That is the debate. To the uh, this is gonna be the link to the debate. Um, yeah, it's, it's like one hour forty three minutes, something like that. I think it is. Yeah, you know what? I, I you know, here, here's what's funny, and I, I, I am going to this soon, but you know, whatever. Um, it is kind of funny that this is a these are one of those rare turning point moments. This is a point where Antonio Fletcher can actually determine whether he wants to be known as somebody who has a shred of intellectual honesty, or if he's going to be a ball washer, because he has not watched the debate yet. So. If he goes to watch this debate and he, for whatever reason, thinks that Ronnie did a better job, it is definitively and conclusively and without question, he has no integrity, no honor, no no ability to have any kind of sermon, which I kind of assume will happen anyways. But the dishonesty level is beyond the ability to be fixed. Okay, Steve, did you expect anything different though? No, I mean, no, I'm not. But, like, but, but I'm saying, I, no, but I'm saying that there is a turning point here. If if Antonio Fletcher said, you know what? Yeah, I watched this debate, Ronnie, and yeah, you know what? I think you really sucked. You didn't you didn't have an open statement. You didn't prepare. You didn't have a presentation. You weren't able to address the topic. I think Steve's argument against the turbines really outdid anything you ever said about it because I don't know shit about ATP synthase. Um, like speaking for Antonio, he doesn't know anything about That's it. No, like me. Seriously, yeah, but, I don't. But I understand the premise. But at the same time, it's it's about the presentation, right? Do you know? Do you know how easily I could explain to you ATP synthase if you wanted to? Dude, and dude, I and know you, you could. And this, no, but and the thing is, right? I don't. I don't require you to go. I have to explain. The fact is, like, I know already that this is a, a mute point. But I think, I think the fact that here is which. ID said, Mr. Intelligent Design said, it's how you present it. It doesn't matter if you're right or wrong, right? It's about how you present the evidence no, that you proclaim point. it to be the case. That's a good point. If, if you just went by what material was being presented, he didn't present it. failed. Anything. Yeah, Mr. Intelligent Design said, no, Ronnie, you won. And I was like, well, there you go then. How can someone who fundamentally, fundamentally disagrees with your position, Steve, and mine, say uh -huh. you won? Because you presented your case better. There you go. That well, like I, 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 I want to make a prediction. I want to make a prediction um, that Antonio yeah. will watch the debate and he'll side with Ronnie and, and, and not at all give an indication of what Ronnie's argument was, what his rebuttal was, what his model was, what his explanations or predictions were. Nothing. And watch. And, and watch. It's going to happen uh, because he does not have the the ability to be honest and say you know what yeah steve had presentations he man he he came at this and he he he, he uh, totally destroyed the analogy that you were using ronnie um he's not going to do that but i think it is a turning point where if he did that i would have much respect for the guy you know, even he, you know he can even say look at you know i still believe in intelligent design and 
you know, I think there's a lot of things that could be discussed, but Ronnie, you, you were just so woefully unprepared. Um, I can't support you on this. I, I but we know that's not going to happen. Right. But I would, if I, if, if you know, I, I, Stizer, you know me, if, if you did a great job in the debate, I'd be like, Stizer, fucking hey, dude, you, you kick some major ass. Well, I mean, really fuck, well. I, I, I could debate you on stupid shit, right? But even if I was so completely wrong, you have to prove, well, this is the point I'm going to make. Even if I was wrong, and we, we've disagreed on a lot of shit, right, in, in regards to how we think about science, I could go, well, here's my proposition, and there's my evidence for it. You have to give the evidence, even though it's, you might disagree and go, oh, fucking hell, he's got it completely wrong. It's how you present something to somebody. Because a debate is not about who wins. It's about what the audience thinks, what's more plausible. That's how you yeah, win I mean, the debate. Yeah, yeah, well, that, and that's, and the that's thing. down I mean, to presentation. If I, win, if I win, it doesn't inherently disprove intelligent design. If he wins, it doesn't, no, it doesn't inherently prove it. it, what, it so, does do, what it does do is provide you with with the position that you can go i tried my best like you said g man was going you can't use fucking uh powerpoint but how the fuck are you supposed to present that anything that's just weird that's yeah, just tre great. trevor trevor lunn notes that's in the live feed he says uh it took him an extra week to come up with what he brought to the table today isn't that sad trevor an extra week can you imagine how bad it would have been if he didn't have had that extra week and if he came oh, to the table that right. when on the sunday we were supposed to have it and he did it during his lunch break. Do you know how god awful this debate would have been? You know, what did he say? He give you thirty minutes, Steve? Didn't he say that? Oh, oh, I'm lying. Lying. Yeah. Yeah, and that, and the whole debate took an hour and forty minutes, and it would have taken two hours had he done the Q and A because that we had planned for two hours. I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm just that's why I get. You know what? I get frustrated that yeah, not not because I know what you said before. I get frustrated because I would rather you entertain people who actually are honest. Oh, but even that, though the, that was entertaining. No, Come on. That, no okay. I know. Sorry, but I would rather you entertain people who are honest. Stay, they might disagree with your ass, but at least they're honest. I, I, get, and I get you, bro. Not, I, not, I, not I, try and blame you and go, oh, well, Stay, he's, he's a nigger. <laughs> so, I, 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 I get you, bro. I get you, right? And by the way, I hate that word. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I okay. um, but, uh, but here's the thing, dude. The, the after show we had, that was comedy fucking gold. Probably. I have never laughed in a hangout that much. I don't think. <laughs> uh, yeah, seriously, ever. I know for I, fact I, I, feel bad hangout, I, I laughed it. that hard. I missed it. Bastard. Oh, you you missed the after show? Yeah. Well, I I only got uh, I I literally got the edge. Oh, of uh, God, go watch the, the middle, actual. especially in the middle. Well, oh, go watch the whole thing, but watch oh, it. I always have to. When we started watching, looking at the memes, and I actually had um. I have put a link. To oh, me. no, I was there for the memes. No, with the fucking okay. check falling over with Ronnie's face. No, I was oh, fucking there for that. I was laughing. I, I didn't type her in, but I was, I was pissing myself laughing. Yeah. That, that was funny as fuck. Yeah, uh, I, I, I do have to acknowledge there was something Ronnie did prove today. Is that question that he's just... <clears throat> no, he proved that he cannot put three sentences together without losing track of what he's talking about. It was a shadow. I mean, can, can you imagine anything more incoherent than what he was saying? Because it was it was pure just nonsensical rambling to me. I'm like, what what is he? What is? I'm trying to take notes, right? I'm like listening to him intently because I'm thinking I might have to have a rebuttal, right? And I don't want to say I'm not paying attention, so I, I actually was writing notes on Notepad, and I'm like, I don't even know what to put down here. I think I'm seriously have no idea what the fuck he's even talking about. Yeah, pretty. And, and the thing I, is, there. I do have to say though, somewhat in Ronnie's defense, there is one person that, on one instance, that I heard do worse in a debate, and that was back in the days when Neo Atheist was on here, and he got into a debate. He challenged these two kids to a debate on whether the God of the Old Testament is evil or not, and he opened and closed with a simple statement. He had like t t fifteen minutes to present his case. And he just sat there and he said, well, I mean, have you read the Old Testament? It's obvious. I think that's it. I'm done. And I'm like, uh, what? Wow. I was the fucking moderator going, dude, you just lost this. Wow. I, I think we need to give more time for Ronnie. <clears throat> I think he has, he has a bad uh, weekend, maybe. Uh, that's why he couldn't prepare. So No, no, he had three weeks to prepare. <laughs> I think we need to, you know, uh, because uh, his camp also is, I think, uh, I think he has also a point, but we need to give him more time to explain his ideas. Um, I think no, we're not, for, not really giving him more time. I'm, I'm, I'm done with discussions with him. I'm, I don't go into his hangouts. I'm not having another debate with him. 
the idea of giving him more time, there's a problem with. It's more a matter that, I, I mean, as I've been joking, you know, what they need is Toastmasters. They need to learn how to speak properly. They need to learn how to, you know, give a proper presentation to actually organize right. your own thoughts in your head before you speak. Because he'd sit there and talk in a circle, contradict what he was saying. It, it was horrible. Maybe he's looking for an evidence. I mean, uh, maybe it's evidence that you're talking to him. So that's why he was, he was very... He was very confused about this model. He has no model actually. So um, I don't know, uh, but based on the debate that I have watched, I think uh, if I'm going to be debate any pe people who are against me, I'm going to you know, really make it my own model so that it could be a model versus model. But uh, but when I give to him uh, an, an comment on his, on his website, on his YouTube channel, he said to me that he has a model. Maybe, maybe he said, I maybe you don't know my model. Well, but I don't know. Well, Edgar, I mean, so many points on the, in the live feed. Uh, I kind of wish I was calling the live feed, but I'm not, I'm not. But, you know, again, Trevor points out in the live feed that he's been on since 2013. He's had plenty of time to come up with a model. We've asked him this question before. Really? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's been on for quite some time. Um, the, the, the problem is, is that. Yeah, Ronnie's like, no newbie. The problem is, is that he does not speak the same language as the rest of the people. And I don't mean to mean like an actual language like English or Chinese or whatever. I mean that when it comes to science, he does not know what these words mean. He has his own lexicon. And it's almost impossible to have a dialogue with somebody when they're using these words so proprietary-like. I, th I think it's deeper than that. What he does is he seems to memorize a lot of scientific terms without understanding them so he can then just start spewing them out there without having any idea what, even what he's saying in his own head. Oh, well, that's the other side too. That's exactly. I don't think he <laughs> understands what he's saying, even internally. Yeah, because I, because I, you know, I, in this community, I am a newcomer. Uh, because of Steve, I I joined this community. That's why I don't know about Ronnie. Oh, sure, blame me. Thanks. <laughs> no, no, I, I thank you for that. Okay. I, think, I, I don't blame. I thank you for that because you helped me to expose uh, myself and express my my discovery. But I mean. Um, I think uh, Ronnie is using the old intelligent design, and uh, based on my research, it has no actually it's just a valid explanation about the reality. But I think he is trying he's, the the Discovery Institute camp are, are trying to are trying to make an explanation of reality and they're trying to make a research and publish um, manuscript articles in science journal. Is that right? Well, I mean, uh, first of all, nobody's able to discuss that what his argument actually is, right? He literally just says um, things look designed, therefore they're designed, but we can't use pattern recognition for anything else. There was a point, if I remember correctly, and I might be wrong because I've been in a lot of discussions over the last couple of days, but there was, a, if I remember correctly, there was a point during his argument in which he said, well, you know, you haven't even addressed my position. My argument is, and then he said what his argument, quote, quote, what his argument was, and I sat there thinking, when have you said that? You haven't said that once this entire time. What are you talking <laughs> it's about? It's something new, right? It's completely new. <laughs> yeah. And it, and it really wasn't a, it wasn't a good recapitulation of his argument either. It's like, huh? Um, and by the way, yes, uh, AJ, <laughs> um, I noted that too. Um, I, I did not make Edgar expose himself. I just want to go on record there. I, I didn't I did have exposure, but Lies. I didn't. <laughs> Uh, but he doesn't his own well, time. That's well, I think uh, because because of you, Steve. Uh, you know, I, I joined this community because you know I'm alone. I'm doing my videos in YouTube, and I don't know about this community. But my, I think there are two people are inviting me to join their hangouts. But you know, I don't have any idea. So, uh, but anyway, th I thank you for for all of well, you. Well, you, people but are that, knowing. People are definitely knowing your name. Uh, I'll give you that. <laughs> people are recognizing <laughs> who you are um, for sure. <laughs> You've got a lot more exposure than you probably would have had before. Yeah, but I, you know what, right? I, 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 to be fair, I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, no, to say it is. I mean, would, would you rather have? Would would I rather watch you discuss ID with him than TE? I bet your ass, most of the people in in the the hangouts or whatever um, would say him rather than TE. One. Yeah. And this is the only reason why, and I would say this in all honesty, that guy's genuine. He might be wrong, right? Or we think he's wrong in that position, but he's fucking, he, he, he's genuine. At least he thinks what he knows to be true. And he, he's got no reason to come in here and, and call shit to you, Steve. 
And uh, that I can appreciate, actually. Well, I'm going to argue. Know, I, I, I'm sorry, but I had a question. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, on a time. Go ahead, Shadow. I want to argue with that just a tiny little bit because I think on some levels, Ronnie is internally inside his own head feels that he's genuine. I think he just can't communicate well enough to let anyone else understand what's in his head. Yeah, but you I think mean, you need enough communication. You need enough ability to communicate to at least convey to others what you're talking about. And I think that's the big difference is that most people in this community, before they enter one of these discussions, are able to communicate what they're trying to say. Yeah, but Shadow, we don't even know what he's trying to say because it's all worth salad. And Shadow, yeah, but you Shadow, mean, Shadow, hold on. But Shadow, would you say that even if that's the case, and let's give let's give T the benefit of the doubt, and let's say he can't communicate it, would you say the shit zone that follows him is not anything like ID there? I mean, no, no, no. What I'm saying is. You know, I had a what I'm saying is ID seems to <clears throat> actually care about people understanding what he's saying. Yes, okay, fine. That's yeah, and you, make point, you make a good <clears throat> point, Shadow. And I think that I think all of us in the community in the community have become more effective communicators because of it. Um, I think that every time we do a debate or every time we do a presentation, we get a little bit better at it. Uh, it we learn from our mistakes. We we again have what's called self reflection. They don't on that other side. They are so out of touch with reality that they cannot self reflect. Nor can they limit. They, they can acknowledge their limitations, shortcomings. They effectively think that that they are in this little bubble of, of, of their own reality and everybody else is wrong, right? I mean, they, they're they right, everybody else is wrong, that's the way it is. And, and then they have to comport reality to, to well, they have to change reality to comport what their actual beliefs are. They have to, they have no choice. This is exactly what I'm saying by I, I, him rewriting history. They have I to have do a it question. this way. Yeah, go ahead. I have, a, I have a question to all of you there. You know, mm -hmm. you've been uh, talking and discussing and debating with Ronnie. Do you understand his uh, position? I mean, his uh, his argument. For, no. For, I think, no. 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 I don't feel he's been able to convey it well enough for us to be able to claim to properly understand it. Yeah, and, 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 and what's funny, and, and what's funny is if we tried, he would just say you're strawmanning him anyways. Yeah, he, he would say. I mean, I mean, you could re I mean, listen. You could, he, Ronnie could say something. You can repeat it back verbatim, and he would still say you're strawmanning him. He's not, I mean, like, he's not like you, dude. You're you're trying to hold a position that you can try and articulate. We don't agree with your position, but you try and articulate it in a way that, like, we can understand and then, it, like, be skeptical about it, right? He doesn't. He he just word tells the fuck out of the English language and and confuses everybody, including you, which. <laughs> Fucking, it's hard to deal so, with. <clears throat> because, because you know, uh, because you know, uh, uh, Ronnie is using the old intelligent design, right? And we know that when we use when when uh, the camp of the old intelligent uses uh, uh, the debate, they are trying to use the irreducible complexity, and uh, that's they call it this the pattern. So, do you agree with with them that there is really a reducible irreducible complexity in biological world? Yes or no? What was that? I'm sorry. Edgar. Yeah, was I mean, that a question? Was that a question? I mean, because uh Ronnie, if you're if you're going to if you're going if you're going to look at Ronnie's uh I don't know uh wait 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 uh channel, we could see that um he is using intelligent design. Um when we when you when he use intelligent design, I think he's using Michael B's intelligent design, that discovery institute discovery institute, and we know that the discovery institute uses the what they call irreducible complexity right as an argument do you do you agree with, he, he does, with he them does talk about the, no he uh, he does talk about that edgar but no the problem with the irreducible complexity is has never been demonstrated and as um you know uh, ken miller brilliantly demonstrated he he took a mousetrap <laughs> he tore it apart took the clip out of it and turned it into Brilliant a tie clip. Tie. Uh, yeah, I've, so, seen, I've I mean, seen that. I've seen that. Right, right. Nope. So we understand that things have precursors, and this is what I explained in the debate. Now, Ronnie has to either do one of two things, and, and any intelligent divine advocate has to do one of two things. They needed to say, okay, these things came about through a series of changes building upon existing structures. Okay. Uh, that could have been intelligent design from the beginning. That's fine. You have no way to, of differentiating. Or 
that these things have no precursors and are irreducibly complex, having no explanation other than they had to be designed by some kind of intelligent designer. That gets well out the side of reality of, of science. Okay, right. well, no, the, no, the underlying okay. problem, the underlying problem is, is uh, what Thaddeus was trying to allude to be, be, beforehand is I want to ask, um, Intel, Mr. Intelligent Design. Uh, me? Okay. Yes, you. Do you believe in God? Which God? Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, well, I, I, I believe, no. I believe, I believe Jesus Christ as God because okay, I, okay, okay, okay. Now, see, th then lies the, the point of why you would necessarily require intelligent design in order to figure out how the universe is, right? It's not how, how and is are not the same thing. How it is in regards to how it functions. Well, obviously, no, uh, you would require intelligent design <laughs> for your God to work. Like literally, logically, you it would if the if there is no God, right? Literally, no God. Then how would the universe not be designed? That would make well, no fucking sense. <clears throat> so, what are you I, I, arguing for? Are you arguing against logic? Or are you saying that uh, there is no position before logic? I mean, this is the point of intelligent design. The premise is that there is a God in order for them to to be intelligent design. So everything in the universe would they go ego some be intelligent designed anyway. You can't escape it because that is your underlying principle. I, I think you, I think you did not come to my first, second, third uh, discussion here in Steve's channel. I well, said that's true. I said that um if I'm going to you know when I discovered intelligence, I never used the Bible. I never used any God. What what I have done is <clears throat> I made an I made an experiment and based on my experiment, the result of the experiment told me it predicted that intelligence predict that there must be an intelligent agent in this How? agent. How? Well, I, you know what? I actually can answer this because I, I, yeah, I, I do have, I, I do have a little long. clarification. I can answer now. Yeah, I oh, do have a little no, clarification. No, 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 no. Well, okay. Okay. Hang on, I, 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 sorry, hang on, hang on. Well, I want to hit in. I have, I have a little more elucidation, uh, elucidation, yeah, a little more uh, understand. Elucidate. Yeah, I'm a little more elucidated on, um, yeah, you know, God, I'm late. He's getting late. Um, on his argument now that I, I actually talked over to somebody else, and I was like, okay, let's. It's kind of suss us out and somebody had been messaging me. I'm like, okay. So I think I understand a little bit more where Mr. Intelligence is coming from. What he's trying to do, he's saying, here we have a, an experiment where we are dropping an egg through tissue papers. And at some point, that tissue paper that he added, the last one, it didn't break anymore. In other words, he used intelligence to solve a problem, which the problem was, how do you stop the, the egg from falling through the tissue papers by adding another tissue paper? to it demonstrating an intelligent agent and tell that intelligence was at work here by becoming up with a solution to say how to prevent the egg from falling through the tissue paper is that is that correct edgar well uh, actually it's part partly correct okay continue okay. please okay i i good good enough i'll take partly okay, okay so now here's the problem that we run into <laughs> what edgar is describing is the fact that humans have the ability to problem solve yippee skippy we all know humans have the ability to problem solve. That has mm -hmm. nothing to do with the actual intelligent design argument that things were created by a, a intelligent agent that we've never seen, nor have we ever seen an intelligent agent design a uh, natural system. Here's the difference between Edgar's experiment and what the intelligent design movement is. His experiment is not a natural system. It's if, not. He would have, if he would have done an experiment saying, hey, I have designed um, life. I've created life out of nothing. I've designed it. That would have been a more effective argument. Now, it would have been good, but it would have been a more effective argument. Um, we have, whenever you see a natural system, such as the, the, the life, planet Earth, humans, the solar system, the, the galaxy, the universe. Physics. Never, yeah, physics. Yeah, well, physics and chemistry and any kind of model. We've <laughs> never seen an agent design any of those. Period. No, exactly. Nobody that's designed the physics. They discovered physics. They modeled it. But they exactly. Didn't and that's it. the point. And, that, and that's the point where intelligent design that, that's that's the crux of the argument. Intelligent design yeah. requires so, a belief right. that someone so, is 
intelligent to design something that we know to be right. natural so that we what, discovered. What? What? Can, what, can what I, I, yeah, what's that so what, yeah, let me just make my point. So what Edgar's <laughs> doing is he's taking the fact that he's recognized that him as an intelligent <laughs> agent is intelligent enough to solve problems and extrapolating that um, to to a grand design or grand intelligent design agent. And that's okay. where the, there's a complete disconnect between okay. how you formulate a coherent uh, model. Yeah, yeah, I, I, because there's I, no I, model I, for intelligent design. Can, can, can I, I can I can I add yeah. uh, can I clarify? I supposed to be uh, be, this is uh, for uh, Ronnie. Sorry, but I uh, since I was asked to answer, I'm going yes. to answer. Yeah, go ahead, well, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the 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 reason why the reason why I believe uh, first in uh, I I already told here in this discussion that uh, the intelligent design that I discovered, but predicts that there must be an intelligent agent. Well. You can choose anything you want. You can choose uh, alien, you can choose Allah, you can choose religion, you can use angel, you can use stone, you can use vacuum. You can use anything. But but the intelligent design that I discovered, it pinpoints about a dual nature, at least dual nature of, of an agent, intelligent agent. How? I, Oh, it's, it's, I think it's long because uh, you know I don't want to. I don't think explain it here because it is for Ronnie. No, no, I, no, I want you to explain to me. Fuck Ronnie. <laughs> explain yeah, to me. Is, is, is it permissible here? Uh, to explain? I, you know what? Uh, yes. honestly, please, honestly, please stay. Please stay. Just honestly, let him explain it. I, I know. I know. It's late. I, I, I really know don't want to go down this path. I just, really don't want to go down this path. You're already me. running people out of the hangout for the discussion. Come on, guys. Yeah, I, do, I don't see a purpose to this. I really don't want to go down this path. Well, he's, he's trying to explain why is people, people, in the live feed, people in the live feed are threatening to end their lives. Uh, I, I don't no, know, man. I mean, I, I, exactly I, I, I'm just upset I didn't get to say hi to Heavy before he left. Shit. I, I, I don't want to have a mass suicide. <laughs> well, well, look, <laughs> skeptic saying, what exactly did you discover? I, I want to understand this too. Okay, I, I want to make it short. Okay, uh, okay, okay you know what? I make it short. Be, be uh, you have one minute. Edgar, because I like you, you're a nice guy. You have yeah. one minute, but the first death okay, okay. that occurs. <laughs> Make it short. It's on your head, let you know, okay. Okay. okay let me turn on my camera and get a sword then. Come on. Okay. In, in intelligent design that I that I discovered uh, can categorize pattern, and when you use that pattern to the universe, the universe appears to be intelligent design. Simple. It's that. Do Do you think we've discovered all of the universe? Yes or no? See, Shadow's already halfway there. Sorry, you know what? Yeah, I'm sorry to see you go, Shadow. You're an you're a great guy. I liked you a lot. Um, uh, don't worry, the account will stay open for a while. For yeah, that's all I'm concerned about. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's already paid for it. So. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're such bastards here, aren't we? Oh, fuck off. It's better than listen to T.E. fucking talk bullshit. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I'd rather listen to Edgar than T.E. half the time. Exactly. I mean, why not? The guy is this, he's sincere, for fuck's sake. You know, well, one of these days, Edgar, of course, we're, we're, we're going to have to we're going to have to get rid of this intelligent design stuff. We'll have to actually get onto other things like, uh, you know, the actual evidence you have for young Earth, because that that's something that I find. Oh, what? Amazing. Are you shitting me my fucking mind? OK, yeah, can I, 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 I just you, you, you did not come last last yesterday when I talk about London, about the young art creationism. The, I the did, too. Part. I the was here. The, okay, the, 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 the last part. He can came. I ask you, can uh, I ask you a question, Mr. Intelligent Design, if you believe the world is young? Can I ask you a basic question? Yeah, the Earth is young, and the universe no, okay, is okay, young. That, okay, okay, if you say so. Wait, but more important question, is it's, is the universe's first name Carl? <laughs> shut up, let me ask you. No, Edgar. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> you ask a question, Stai, because I want to ask a question. No, Go ahead, ask okay. One. Yeah. okay, I just want to ask my question. Yeah. Is, the, is the speed of light constant? In vacuum, yes. Do we live in a vacuum? No. Is it a black and decker power vacuum? Oh wait, never mind. I was asking Stein. Okay. Yes, and so it depends okay. on what you mean. Okay. The, earth wait, 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 the earth isn't a vacuum, but okay. Wait, wait. Okay, fine. Okay, so we don't live in a vacuum. Okay, fine. Yes. So the speed of light is constant. Yes. In a vacuum, yes. 
<sighs> okay. He's right. Oh, I'm try I'm just trying to <laughs> So weird. You have so lost the thread on this one. No, I'm, yeah. I'm just, I'm just, uh, no, I'm trying to get him to answer the exact same question using electrons. Um, do, do you use a computer? Yes. Okay. What is the? Are we, are, are we, by the laws of physics, bound by the speed of an electron in computers? Um, yes. that, that was like a Don't wrong question. Why? Yes, no, yes. No. Prob probably yes. Yes, so therefore the speed of light is the same. I, no. That was like yes. A-B car. I, I actually, I actually <laughs> thought that that was A-B car turn up there. I, 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 was, I don't know what the hell that was even supposed to mean. <laughs> well, the, well, the thing is, the thing is, the computers work the same way the speed of light does, and that's why I actually you, said no, 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 Okay, hang on, Sty. I have to ask you, does one plus one equal potato? Yeah, yes. Uh, the, the actual the limiting, to, to running. the limiting factor in computers is the size of the transistors on the wafers. It, it how, actually isn't. It's it's how it's well going. well trust me uh, it really is. Um, no, it, it, no, I'm telling you, it's fucking okay. Boring. Well, well, you know, people can listen to, me, listen to you. It, so it's here's fun. the thing: the, what happens is the fact we used to be, we used to be having like a 12 nanometer structure on transistors, getting you know several million on a wafer. Yeah, yeah, Moore's law, blah blah blah, whatever. Yeah, well, it's not it's not even dealing with Moore's law; it's dealing with heat dissipation. Yeah. Transistors have a high degree of require heat dissipation, and when you're dealing with something on the molecular scale of only a few atoms, there's a high degree of heat that you have to dissipate for, giving a physical limitation to about seven to nine nanometers on the wafer. Yeah. Okay, now they've they've actually started to get around that. Do you know how they've been getting around that limit? They thought was absolutely one of the, the you know a limit. They couldn't get smaller than that, right? Based yeah. upon current technology, but yeah. now we can get down to one or two yeah. nanometers. How they do it? Yeah, they just stuck them on each other. Okay. No. That was no. That's how they did it the old way. Oh, that's how they do it right now. Yeah, but that's not how they solve the problem. Need so. a better way of heat uh, to dissipate yeah. the heat. Thank it's, you very much. They need a better see, way to dissipate the heat. And so what they did, they actually whether created, it be capacitor or RAMs or your CPU or what have you. When it's running cooler, it runs more effectively and oh, more efficiently. That's way. well. That's one of the things. But actually, what they did was they created nanotubulars. Yeah. These nanotubular uh, are made of a carbon, uh, kind of a cr <laughs> graphene carbon. And these nanotubulars can lead. actually, can, yeah, lead. Yeah, so no, well, lead. it's lead, kind of. Well, no, that's, it's a, that's a crude. It's, that, that, it's, it's no, graphene. It's, it's actually the shit that's in your pencil. Yeah, it's not lead because it's not lead because yeah, lead is no, it graphene. Like, lead, well, lead it's kind of the same shit. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Of. So let me finish before you jump over me. Sorry. Anyways, because of these nano these nano tubular tubules tubulars now, we can actually have heat dissipation and we can have the elimination of what's called electron tunneling. Because when you're dealing with very small scales, especially around seven nanometers, mm -hmm. the electrons have a much higher rate of being tunneling. And what happens when you have a, a state of a computer and you have electron tunneling? You lose the parity in the, in the system. You lose the bit, right? It can go from state of one to the other to zero, and that's not beneficial in a computer when you have to have the system have a specific uh, memory, right? You have to have ones and zeros in their specific way. And if you have electron tunneling, it can actually change the parity of the bit. So by which having these the overall value, which changes the overall value. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. this, this new system, the new, what they're working on hasn't been fully developed yet. It helps to one, dissipate the heat and then eliminate the electron tunneling. So. Well, it, well, actually, it, it's got a lot to do with how the electrons actually travel down the little stream. that we well, send Electrons it. don't travel. <laughs> No, <laughs> seriously, it, it's, Electron, it's how... Listen to me again, because Steiser, I'm, I'm the person who actually has read about this stuff. Um, I electron, built computers for a living okay. for fun. Electrons do not travel in a wire, okay? No, they don't, but it, it's how... It, it, okay. It's how so fucking... If electrons don't travel in a wire, how do you have current flow? Mm. What? Explain. If electrons don't travel in a wire... How do you have current okay, flow? Ex explain a wire in a circuit, please. A wire explain, is a piece of conducting material that's cylindrical. Yes. And and what what does it conduct? Electricity. And what do we, what electricity? The last time I fucking checked. I'm asking you the question. If it doesn't, no, conduct, you don't ask me the question. I'm, I'm I, you ask me a question. I'm asking you how does how does this formulated system work? Right, and if the system works the way we're proposing it does, then photons so do produce we'll, what? 
Okay, it has nothing to do with photons. Yes, it does, do, because photons travel at the speed of light. And if your computer... Do not have photons traveling... At the same, oh, no, hold on. Sorry, the point wait. is... Wait, let me finish. Well, just one you're, second. You're pulling a Ronnie right here. Hold on. No, no. We're getting to a situation where... Do you think I'm photons not, travel in a wire? No. <laughs> the point is... <laughs> shut up. The point is... Current. Computers are based on the same physics as the speed of light. Or computers wouldn't wear. That's my entire point. And if he's, if that guy over there, intelligent designer, saying my computer doesn't work on the same basics as physics as a fucking photon, and the universe isn't thirteen point eight billion years old, his computer wouldn't wear. Okay, let me ask the That's question again point. for the Stizer here. <sighs> Do electrons flow in a wire? Yes or no? No. Okay. Then what Not is the current? Then what is the current in the wire? But it's kind of like magnetic weight shit, to be fair. Okay, you are seriously... That's the, that's, that's the, the first way I can... Wrong. That's the only way I can explain it. Seriously, that's the only way I can explain don't, it. You know what? I like, would rather have you just say, I don't know. Weight, yeah. Don't don't come up with bullshit well, it's, not, it's No, because if you look at quantum mechanics, that's exactly what it says. It's no, like you can't... No, you, it okay, then, okay, then. Can you actually measure an electron where it is? <clears throat> you have a probability wave function of what an electron is. Can, can you measure an electron where it is? You can measure it, uh, yes, of course. Okay. No, you can't. That's fucking shit. You, can. you just can't no, know the exact can't. position. You yes, can't you can't know the exact, exact position. So you're asking right. me, does an electron flow down a wire? Well, no, it can't because you don't know. Okay, the then flow. what is current flow? Current flow is the magnetic fucking energy no. from the fucking no, shit that Jesus we've got Christ, down Christ, no. pipes. Yes, no. it is. No. Because that's all we fucking understand. Okay, Chris, Chris, can you Chris, you have a degree in electrical engineering. Can you come in here, Chris? Mm. Chris, please come uh, Out of curiosity, is the answer positively and negatively yes. towards ions? Well, close. You Close. Okay. Yes. And what the is ions. it? Because I'm not sure. It's called, it's called whole flow. Yeah. Are you familiar with whole flow, Steiser? No, I'm not. That's what's what's what what's it, what, uh, where does that charge come from? Steiser, are you familiar with whole flow? <laughs> where does the charge come from? Are you familiar where with does whole the flow? Char You're missing the but point. Where does I can the answer charge that come from? Where the does the electron. charge come from? From a lack of electrons. Yes, exactly. So you're saying it doesn't go down a wire. Do you know why it doesn't right. go down a wire? Because it's a cumulative effect. You're an we idiot. We know what we're doing. It's not. I'm not a fucking idiot. idiot. You just stated that we can't fucking measure where the electron fucking is. So therefore, we don't fucking measure where the electron is, do we? We know what the charge is, though. Steiser, idiot. Steiser please don't ohms. talk about have you ever, Have you ever read ohms in your entire life? Yes, Jesus I'm quite familiar with Christ. ohms. Law. So any other words, yeah, you, you, Ohm's you, law is fucking how shit gets better and better every fucking 24 months. No, there's Moore's tip. law, not yeah. Ohm's law. Oh, Moore's law, that fuck's sake. You fucking yeah. said Ohm's. You're fucking confusing me. So, I said in other words, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't know what whole flow is. Uh, what is the capacity in a fucking wire? What's your fucking would, point? Would you like me to explain to you whole flow? You can do what the fuck you want. You know everything, apparently, Stephen. Well, I know more about this topic, it seems. What, even though you've never built a computer in your entire fucking uh, life? I used to work at a computer place building computers. You used to be a nuclear Here. physicist for fuck's sake, and now you're broke on one Patreon. Two, I don't give a for fuck. Two <clears> years, <throat> for two years, I used to build computers, Stizer. So fucking what? I was building them when I was fucking 19. I did for two years. I worked for a computer place, and I built Okay, computers. can I interrupt this like... love fest for one moment, please? Sure. Go on. Cur current is the flow of charged particles through a conducting medium such as no, wire. That's not true. Really? No, that's right. oh, the wiki. Yeah, wiki's this is wrong. Finding from a wiki. Yeah, I don't care. It's wrong. Oh, okay. It's fucking well, not wrong. I'm confused then. Okay. The and, and, and by the way, flow. It's not the... about electrons. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. And Chris oh. can come. Chris has a degree in electrical engineering, so he can come in here. I'm let me. This is actually here. from. Hang on. I was going to point out. This is actually. Not simply a wiki, but it's also a school-related <laughs> wiki. It this is part of our curriculum thing, which might yeah, explain the true. confusion. Yeah, that's wrong. But what I'm wrong. saying is this might explain the confusion. If this is part of actual regular cur curriculum and it's technically wrong, this explains a lot of the confusion that's going yeah. on right now. Here, and this is why it's wrong. What happens is this is this is an analogy they use to explain um, electronics to people, but they that they don't get to the nitty gritty about what actually happens. Steve. So, oh my God, Steiser, let me explain this, okay? Electrons don't flow through a wire. What you have is you have a electron jumping from one one atom to another. Okay, it never one electron doesn't move to continue down the wire. It's it's just one jump from one electron one atom to the next atom. Boom, boom, boom. It could be a different electron, but that hole, the hole that's left, that positive charge that's left, that is continually being produced, going in the other direction. So positive, 
positive hole flow is in the opposite direction of what they normally would say the electron current flow is. But since it's mathematically the same, they can they just say, look it, we can mathematically say that electrons are flowing into this in the wire because the math is identical. Where do the, okay, so that, it's just Stay. that it's just that one is called electron flow, which doesn't actually exist, but it produces a positive flow called hole flow in the opposite direction. Now again, I gave the link out um, to the live feed. Uh, uh, Chris, are you out there, Chris Scott? Can you can Stop you come in here and join us on this? Me like he's your bitch. Just tell me how does that how how does that how does that operation in fact you know what i'm not going to get into this shit like because this is the point i'm not fucking arguing over the fucking electrical shit my point was directed at mr intelligence because i'm not arguing about that shit i'm arguing about some other shit he's saying the world is this old and i'm saying if that's true in his case then how do you explain computers I don't because see. computers are based on the same <laughs> physics as a photon. Yeah, I don't see the correlation. Do I know? Hey, International Zoo, do we know you? Okay, then. Okay, then. What does a photon... Hang on, Steiser. Hang on, Steiser. Do we know you, International Zoo? Hello? Yes, you do. Yes, it's oh. blue. Oh, it's blue. That jerk. Oh. Okay. <laughs> God, it went Yeah, guess who has me blocked? <laughs> I have it. It wasn't me. Fuck you, Blue. It wasn't me. It's not me. Chris, fuck wasn't me. It is you, you dog. It's not me. Fuck you. I don't need to call it dog, but it's not fucking me. You're not that fucking interesting to blocks. To be well, fair. It sure wasn't see for myself. I like um, ragging on Blue. Why would I try to stop somebody from getting in? That I like. Here's to pick why on? he blocked me. Uh, it's so funny. <laughs> I asked. He's like, I've read history books. I know history. And I asked him, What history books have you read? What are you talking about? Are you talking? Are you talking to you? What history you books have you read? Are you talking to me? Uh, 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 and then he and then he tossed me and blocked me. That's all I had to say. You're a bitch, Steiser, and you don't know shit. And I'm leaving. Fuck you. Yeah, I read the most important history book there is. I read the Cimmerillion. I don't know. I read. I read the Magna. You know what? I read. I read the creation of the Magna Carta. I don't know if that's a history book, though. But no, Steve. If you've tried reading the Cimmerillion, you must know by now that I've just lied by saying that. Yeah, I don't think no one fucking reads the Cimmerillion through. That's a. It's a horrible fucking read. You know, I've read. I've read Tolkien. I read the the Lord of the Rings series three times, including the Hobbit. So, but I never really get into the mythology that much. So. This anyway, really just point being is, hold on, let's get back to the actual point. Like, fuck the fuck. There is people. none. No, Size hold on, no, because no he, point. he's saying, he's saying the physics that makes his computer work isn't the same physics that we understand about the photon. That's that's my problem. Are you are you, are you literally saying the world is only six thousand years old? What is what is the evidence for that shit? You're on a computer. Like literally. You, are you asking me? Yes, you. Okay. You know, you know. Do you know the uh, the, the word counterintuitive? No. In quantum level. What is no. it called? I've got no idea what he said. I didn't hear what he said. Counter in, counter in, counterintuitive. Counterintuitive. No. Oh, counterintuitive. Yeah. yeah, I know what counterintuitive means. Certainly. What counterintuitive means it goes. Counterintuitive is something where you you think something should be one way based upon intuition, but it's really the opposite. Yeah, but that's got right. nothing to do with physics at all. Yeah, but but that a but, lot of what, human what, physics what, are counterintuitive. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, but what what I'm trying to say is that in the quantum level. Yeah, which is which is based on, well, hold on, you you're quoting quantum level, which is based on scientific method, which proves your theory completely fucking wrong. Yo, please let me explain. He hasn't even presented the argument <laughs> yet. Let me explain. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. Let me explain, Steiser. Okay. Oh, I'm fine. I'll show. Oh, okay. So, you know, the universe is a very big place for us to study. We are living on Earth and we have a space. We have stars. We have lights. We have photons of light telescope and we also have quantum mechanics in the quantum level to use that in space there are what we call with the nash 
phenomena. For well, example, that, I show you. Again. Hold uh, on. you. You broke up for a moment there. Say Sorry, please repeat that. Count, counter, counterintuitive natural phenomena. Huh? <sighs> there are counterintuitive counter natural intu phenomena. Okay. okay. Phenomena. Cool. Okay. We have that. We. Okay. Yes, things there can be many things that are counter to it. Just don't finish. Sure. Fine. For Fine. for example, I will show you. For example, in the double slits experiment, when a photon of light was fired in the double slit, supposed to be, supposed to be, the photon of light will act as a particle, but the result is a interference pattern a wave yes so yeah we, we know example. this yes yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay 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 this one example of counter -intuitive. i will show you more no that's not that no it's not that, no. But it's let, let wait wait explain, hang on hang on let me explain let okay me, fine, all right i know what you're let okay, me explain fine. Fine. Okay. All right, all right, fine, let fine. it's it. counterintuitive okay. size or because this is not what you'd expect to find based on the right. experiment right. Right. Okay, right. Right. I said fine. Okay, fine. Stein, so you are a good person. You are you 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 know something. Okay, okay. I'm listening. Listen. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. okay. okay. Listen, listen, listen. Okay. Hang out. And then, really... you know what? No, you know, no, no. You know what, guys? I can't. I I just can't. Honestly, I love you guys. I can't. I've heard this. I have heard this so many times. Stay, I don't want to discuss it anymore. Fucking interesting and funny. Come on, okay. let them finish. I am way too tired, and I'm way just. I don't want to uh, discuss. Well, we'll go to sleep and no. let's just fucking deal with it. Give so, Stai, you're driving me nuts with this. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, seriously, Stai, it's you're driving everybody nuts with this. So just let this one go. But I wanted to go back to because I got Kristen here right now, who actually has a, a, a degree in electrical engineering. Chris, can you explain the whole flow for somebody? Because I'm trying to explain to 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 Stizer that electrons don't flow through a wire. It's an electron jumps from one. I, I never said they do. Never said that at all. I, that, well, that, shut up, Sty, because I'd like to actually understand this because what I was taught in school back in the day was wrong. Yes. Yeah. So I I'd see. like to know. Yeah. Okay. Because this is a train. This is an example of a training. Thing. This, this is where I, this is why the clown car posse gets confused on things because they don't understand the difference between a training analogy and real world situations. Okay. You're Chris. Awesome. Go on. I'm not done yet, Stai. Oh, sorry, I must stay. Okay, thank you. So I had a ham radio license when I was 13, so I knew this back, way back when. This is, you know. Okay, so the, you're, you're actually, like I said, the reason you are able to utilize electron flow in a wire because it's synonymous with the proton, or excuse me, uh, the uh, positive charge flow called whole flow. The mathematics is exactly the same. It's just in the opposite direction. It's the opposite vector. So it's easier to think visually, okay, I've got a current that's from, electrons traveling through this wire right but it's really not the electrons don't travel through the wire the electron jumps from one atom to the next atom not the same electron just you know one it's a click 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 but you have a hole that's being produced which is the absence of that electron that flow of a hole that hole that's actually what's moving through the wire. an electron has a uh, electron needs to rotate rather than nucleus just so you know go on continue uh okay so I, so i can uh so that's an interesting way, Chris, am I correct? uh uh in broad strokes, yes. Um, so there are a few nuances here. First of all, um, the claim that electrons go around nucleuses, um, technically not true. In, right. um, that, that, in, 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 in metals, what, what tends to happen is that you end up with um, all of your electrons acting like they're spread right throughout the metal. Um, yeah, because it's a cloud, right? Yeah, so, kind of. Um, basically... Um, Basically, when you work out what's going on with electrons that are bound to an atom, then you find out that they all have to be in different uh, different shells. You're, you're familiar with this, right? And, yes, and so definitely. one of them has to be spin positive and one spin negative. And that yeah, shell is full, right? Always exclusion uh, principle. No, yeah. but, but it, it's how we got, like, zero. <laughs> Sizer says yes, like he knows what the hell I just said. Well, that's, actually... That's well, actually, okay. I do know what the fuck I'm saying. Steve. So the exclusion principle is really interesting because when you get into a metal... Um, all of the electrons act like that metal is one sorting big atom. And so uh, you find no two, two electrons in that entire metal in exactly the same energy state. It's, it's really amazing. So you end up with all of these stacked up um, stacked up shells due to the exclusion principle. But to, to, go, to, go, to go to what Steve was saying about holes, um, basically uh, n most materials don't have an incredibly strong electric charge, okay? They're, they're more or less 
full of all the electrons they need. And what you can do is you can kind of um, dope your material so that it's uh, some of the pieces of material are missing an electron. And what you can do is it, you could try and work out what all of the individual electrons are doing, but that makes no sense. What you instead do is you go, well, we'll treat these gaps where there isn't an electron as a quasi-particle. And people are like, what? But you can't treat the absence of an electron like it's a thing. But no, oh, actually, yeah. the math works perfectly. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, um, I know what saying. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of like with a spirit level. Well, um, well it's not. The it's bubble is a thing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's why we use the exact. It's the reason why we use silicon is the exact same reason why it's important there, actually. We yeah. use silicon for the exact same reason. Yeah, so um, when when uh, current is, is flowing, um, yeah, the, the electrons are sort of bumping around and doing their thing, and, and you could imagine that current flow is a very, very, very slow nudging of electrons, but what they're really doing is just jiggling into each other the same way that... Um, I know the same way that, yeah, the, the same way as those little toys you get on on a desk where um, ball bearings swing into each other. Um, yeah, all of the energy is moving without very many electrons. Sure. Uh, are you saying it's more so that it's, so to speak, exciting the electrons and yes. using their vibration? Yeah, but just pushing them in a way that we feel that's necessary and we use certain um, uh, materials to help them on their way. We use silicon because silicon is, is the best way to get them to go the way we want them to, basically. We, we, we don't know where they're going, but we, we kind of know where they're going if we use certain... Um, Sai, si, si, you've completely lost me. I'm sorry. Chris, could you... Yeah, you could you... Yeah, yeah, sure. So, so the, the, analogy, the analogy with the, the executive toy and the ball bearings is a really good one. Um, so when you pick up the ball bearing, you, you understand the toy I'm talking about? With the oh, ball yeah. You, you move strings? the ball furthest and the one furthest from it moves in response. Sweet. Okay, so basically the instant that that first ball hits the, hits the stack, of, uh, stack of stationary balls, just, just straight away the ball leaps off the other end, right? It's instant. Well, that's that's what's happening in your in your electron um, yeah. flow. You, you, most of the electrons move barely at all, but the energy sprints through at pretty much the speed of light. No, a, a, a lot of them move, and that's why you get heat in your CPU because this the heat that comes out of your computer is actually more than actually the the energy used to use your computer to do calculations. That's why we have CPUs with giant heat it's sinks on the top. Because it's the not heat, wires that no, make the CPUs hot. We're all, talking about the flow of energy through the wires. No, 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 you're missing the point. The heat is actually wasted energy. The energy, yeah, okay. like he just said, is actually f electrons that are escaping the system that we've told them to go down. Mm, this is the not point. Not quite it, true. Not quite true. But, so heat is photons. By the heat way, is photons. Yeah, time out. Yes, time out. Time I have to go. Die, die, please. Time out. Well, thank time, you. time out. Time I, out. I have to go. Thank right, thank you. you, Edgar. Time thank out. you. So, I, I, until next time again. Okay. Thank you guys for your kindness. For your goodbye, Edgar. For your uh, good dis Everybody. discussion. So, for your, okay. Thank you. So um, there's something in live feed I want to address this real quick because um, I I mean when somebody comes on their live feed and they make comments we we we'll stop what we're doing and we'll, we'll address them because they're usually too, too cowardly to come in here. Um, it's claiming this is an echo chamber. Um, we actually have. I think one th one atheist in here, and the rest are theists and agnostics. And actually, we usually have more theists in here than atheists. I'm I'm not an atheist. I don't have an atheist channel. So, what is the echo chamber that somebody's claiming we're having when we're talking about physics? Is physics somehow dependent upon your theological position? So, I'm going to give this guy dope wave literally ten seconds to to answer this question because I don't present it trolling. I've been meant open discussion. Permit open discussion, and I want people to come to my live feeds and talk. But if you're a troll, you're banned. There's there's no there's no argumentation about it. There's no discussion. I don't he have. He thinks that electricity comes from either Thor or Zeus. I mean, that's what we were talking about. All right. All right so, so, do you do you want to do? You, would you like to back up your comment about what this is an echo chamber? When again, I think there's only one atheist in here that I'm I'm certain of. So. Uh... Who's Kelly, that? how do you join this hangout? You just, you know what? I give you the link. There you go. Him, yeah, I was going to say give them the link. Come on, Kelly. There we go. I don't think, has oh, Kelly Butts oh, ever been? Oh, I know Kelly's. Okay, <laughs> before, know before, Kelly before the conversation gets annoying again, 
hey, Heavy, how you doing? Okay, you can be annoying again. Hey, Heavy, um, you clicked it, and then what? all you do is just you click it, and this little window comes up. Oh, it is. Is that ABC guy? I don't know who ABC is. ABC? Well, uh, maybe One, two, three. Oh, so who's oh who's that other guy? Oh, it's Bulldog. Oh, he's okay, just... we're gonna turn this into an echo chamber, y'all. <laughs> so just just can I finish my thought about heat? Um, yeah, I was ahead. just gonna say just just yeah. gonna say that that um, heat is obviously photons. Okay, we the thermodynamics, etc. Yeah, ph photons come out, and the photons are coming out when electrons relax back into their into their ground state. Okay, we're messing with the electrons by agitating them, basically putting in all sorts of interesting stresses on them. They move up to higher um, higher orbitals within the within the uh, mega atom, if you will, that is the the metal. And then as they settle down, they release all of that energy as photons. So that's that's where all the heat's coming from. Just, yeah. just wanted to, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 but I'm, I was agreeing with that, and that's what I'm saying is that the way we design our computer chips is that that's a major problem, because we design our computer chips where we don't take that into account. Oh, well, it's not that we don't take it. Into I account. love the we. No. I love the we. The royal we there from Starzor. What? Oh, well, Stein, it, Stein makes computers, I, as I understand. I, I, it. I, I literally build them for fuck's sake. Uh, building computers and making computers are kind of two different things, but that's okay. Well, it's not well, chip design. I'm, well, I'm I'm just saying I, I've been I've been using my fellows things for about twenty years. I, I'm pretty yeah. sure now what the fuck they work as yeah, and I always fuck fucking, fucking yeah, that that's why you reckon the fucking sewer is not fucking more resistant than gold. What? Yeah, you heard me. What's hey, what's more resistant, silver or gold? Gold. Well, it's a conductor. It's I wouldn't say resistance. I would say I. I what's a better conductor? What's a, what's a better conductor, silver or gold? Uh, in my opinion, gold is. Well, it's heat resistant. Well, no, your opinion is fucking See, wrong. You know, silver is. All right, well, we've had this okay. fucking argument before, Star. Yeah, you fucking well, but that's why you okay? come in the room because you your arguments are okay? You don't even fucking know why so fucking I don't fucking know, but you well, you oh, oh, if fuck, hey, listen, if if gold was a fucking better conductor or silver was a better conductor, gold is not a better conductor. Silver in computers, I, I didn't say that. Silver, silver is a much better conductor than gold. I, I didn't. I say agree. That. I agree with fucking. I agree with Steve. Steve. But copper, but copper is also a better conductor than gold, and it's cheaper than silver. Yeah. <laughs> so. No, well, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Copper? Copper? Yeah. Well, I don't know. What's the, I don't know the price. Right, can we, can we, okay, I, can, I know can, the Bulldog, so Bulldog, I know you're still drunk as that, and you're still Australian as ever. Can we not oh, go? Shut up. Uh, you're, you're still a fucking pummy fucking idiot. Oh, you know what? And you're, and and you're, and you're a fucking I, 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 Just shut up. You fucking wasted energy. No, you shut up, you fucking waste of energy. Why You're are you fucking... coming in the room and just trolling? You know what's Why? funny? This is like Sizer and Bulls Dogs. This is like the, the two it's not, opposite. It's, it's not. It's just me. No, he's a fucking idiot. He doesn't we, even know. We, 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 if fucking silver's a better much. conductor, why don't they use it in computers, Sty? Well, they don't use it in computers, you fucking moron. No, I know it's, they it's don't use they it in computers, but why don't yeah. they? Why don't they use it in computers, styles, or you fucking because moron? Why M don't they? I, 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 M I don't know. It's called, maybe the, maybe it's the called, fucking it's, temperature. It's, it's called. It's no. no it's you called, don't know why. You know why you don't fucking know. Because you're a fucking moron. Hey, 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 what is the melting it's point of silver versus gram? I don't know. A thousand dollars a fucking gram. You can't work out the difference why they don't use fucking, fucking silver. Because you're a fucking moron. You're a moron. I've already had this fucking debate with you. Stop shouting, you fucking twat. Okay, no, Pfizer. you shut the fuck up and answer the question. It's not your you room. No, you fucking well, moron. You're a you fucking stop, idiot. I would if you stopped right. shouting. That's fucking three times. Okay, okay, everybody, you guys cannot talk. I love have Bulldog. I love you, Bulldog. But you can't be yelling and screaming over each other. One person talks, the other person listens, and then you go back and forth. Now, before you even hide you guys, listen very carefully. Yes, thank you, Chris. Steve is, a, Steve is correct. Silver is a better conductor. Silver tarnishes, though. It oxidizes much easier than these other metals, right? Um, this is why you have to, to clean your silver with a, something that de-oxidizes de it to get that, that, um, that, that silvery you know, color back, right? Because it has an oxidation layer on it. That's why they don't use it for computers. But anyways, go ahead. 
I know you do bulldog. Bulldog's like I know that. Yeah, no, bulldog's spot on. Yeah, spot on. Yeah, that's why they don't fucking yeah. use it. That's what, that, that 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 was the that was the point that I was trying to make with this fucking idiot six months ago. But he oh, fucking refuses to so believe. He blew himself out of the fucking it, water it, and he put it, up it, a fucking. Hey, 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 Sty, Sty, you even put up a fucking diagram that Silver was a better conductor and blew yourself out of the water, right? And then you try to apologize, right? Oh, yeah, cool. Are you still I'm fucking not, going on about it now, you oh fucking God. idiot? You know, you know what I want to do? I want to tell you that you're such a sad cunt. You've waited. No, you are the sad cunt. You've literally, literally, you've you're literally, you're you're the literally, sad you've literally you're the waited six cunt. months. Yeah, you don't like to be fucking proven wrong. That's why I don't come. No, he doesn't like to be proven. Stizer, Stizer, he does have a point. Am I? Am I? Stizer, Stizer, you. He does have a point. He has a point, but am I allowed to speak? Sure, but you do. For some reason, am I allowed to speak? For some reason, am I allowed to speak? No, you're not allowed to speak. Let him speak. Let him fucking speak. Not when I'm talking, Stizer. You do not. You do not like to be corrected. You do not like to admit when somebody is trying to feed you information that's correct. You want to argue and you troll and you know you do this, Dizer. I've known you a long time, my friend. I love you to death, but you troll. And you do not listen when people who do know what they're talking about much more than you do because you don't know shit about science. You don't know shit about math. You sure the fuck don't know shit about electricity. Um, th people try to correct you. You need to shut up and go, I'm going to learn something. Don't be like these other fuckers in the clown car posse because you're better than that, Sty. I like you. You know that. But, but just, just admit that you don't fucking know a lot of this shit. You have before. You've said, you've told me, yeah, Steve, I don't really know about this shit, but I just fuck with people. Stop doing it. It, present, it, it really is it's getting to be annoying. Go ahead. You have the floor. So you um, stop stroking your own dick. Can I speak? <laughs> I just said you have the floor. Have you finished this deal? Are you going to let this fucker laugh while I'm trying to speak? Yeah, I like Bulldog, actually. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I, okay. I, 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 okay. I, you know what? I, I don't know why. I, I really don't. So, so you're not so you're not going to mute him even though he's going to talk over me. Oh, and then I'll mute myself, just, so No worries. Oh, go on. Please do. Please do. Please do. He'll mute himself. Please do. Well, I okay. doubt it because he's begged me to troll other people in the past. But oh, I know Bulldog is troll, but I love yeah, but Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah let's get things like... straight. Let's get things straight. The context in which he's saying this isn't the case in which he's presenting it to you, is it? No. But because he's shouting because he's Australian and probably drunk because he's an alcoholic like me, whatever. Right. Considering I know him before you, isn't that like bulldog? You fucking idiot. He asked me a fucking <laughs> question. What did that have to do with anything? And I said, no, right? He said some shit about gold six months ago, and it's, I fuck knows. I don't even care, Bulldog. If you're right, God bless your cotton socks. Oh wow, you proved me wrong. What's your fucking point? So let me and now you want to come on here? Yeah. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. No, then you don't have a point. You don't have a point. You still go on about it. You don't have a point. You don't have a point. This fucking actually said, "Why the fuck?" Oh my god! Shut your fucking Australian mouth, you cunt! You don't have a point. If I don't give a fuck what your point is. So, Stizer, does does water conduct electricity? Sit and water does. Okay, pure water. Oh, hang, well, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's, 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 that's actually true. Does Heavy pure, water does. Does pure water conduct electricity? Just regular H2O, well, pure water. Okay. Um, yes. No, so it does not. No, it, it doesn't. It's the minerals oh, in the water that are oh, conductive. Oh, pure water is an insulator. Hold on a minute. I wouldn't suggest you sat in a bathtub with a fucking... Uh, a you, fucking you, you would, I would know, be fine. Pure water. So you say that's okay? Are you saying? Are you saying to me? Let it's me okay that. to sit in the bathtub with an electrical appliance. Let me rephrase that. No. Uh, I, well, there you go. Rephrase what you just fucking asked me then. You have oils and you have contaminants in your body. So even in sitting in pure water, that'd be a problem because those, those things are going to go into a solution. So are, you, are you saying here's the thing. If, you, if you sat in a bath of H2O, you wouldn't get electrocuted to death? If pure I water. Pure in there? Wa if, you didn't have, if you didn't have oils. <laughs> okay. If you didn't have oils and, and substances in your body can cause contaminants. Pure water does not but conduct electricity. You could, sit, you could sit in a bathtub of pure but water if that wasn't the case and drop in a toaster but and you'd be perfectly fine. 
I, but we're not talking hypotheticals. We're talking about actual reality. Okay, oh. the actual reality is pure water is a pure insulator. It does not. And you, and you would get, and uh, would you be toast if okay. I put a fucking if if I put a fucking toaster in your bath with pure H two O without being hypothetical? Would you fucking die? I, I you know what? I don't know. I, I again. It, yes, it, you would. What do you mean? No, you don't not, know. Necessarily, because <laughs> you it, would it, die. It, no. <laughs> It, because it takes time for the 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 impurities <laughs> of your body to go into that water. So if it's far oh, enough away, it 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 I challenge you. I challenge you, and I will give you everything I have in my bank right now. I'll challenge you to sit in a bath, put it on do you YouTube. Understand, do you understand with that, a fuck, that with a fucking toaster? You I challenge you. What do you mean? Do you, maybe? do you understand that pure water is an insulator? Do you get that? I I I would challenge you to sit in a bath. Did, you don't answer my question. Oh, can I jump in? Can I jump yes. in, guys? Yeah, you're the electrical engineer. Okay. You're not right. Here's, here's, here's the deal. Part of my job is um, painting power pylons, and we squirt Jesus. water at uh, at power lines that are energized to 400,000 volts. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, we don't die when we do it because we use pure water. Uh, are you we're, we're a are couple you of meters away. Hold on. Can I ask you a basic question? Are you earth while you do that shit? Are you grounded? Uh, we, yeah, yeah, we are. We, we, we're yeah, holding. No, I wonder the fucking why then, you idiot. Actually, if you're uh. grounded, that makes it worse, Sizer. <laughs> if you're grounded, no, that's how you get electrocuted. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm grounded, and the yeah. and the power so is my, at four hundred thousand volts. Yeah, and, so and if we had a conducting out. stream, then yeah, we'd get our ass fried. Yeah, yeah which is why you grounded yourself, twat. No, you no, no. no hang on, can, can I? No. Okay. Um, when you have people working on the high wires, I mean, you know, the big, tall, high power lines, yeah, like they're not grounded. Them. They are not grounded while they're working on them. If they become grounded, they will fucking die. Yeah, here's the thing, Sizer. What he's saying no, to the you? No, fucking, the Sizer, fucking will die. Sizer, listen to me very carefully. What he's saying is he is grounded this entire time. Wait, I'm yeah. sorry. Telephone. Wait, seriously. No jokes. Interesting stuff, actually. They have to discharge before they can touch anything that's grounded. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, so having, great right, what, what, so Kelly is having a hard time coming in. I don't know why. Kelly, do you have G, do you have G, Gmail? Because if you go to Gmail, if you look in the outside feed, um, it should come up for you, and it's, you've already been added to the Hangout. So Kelly should be able to come in. Oh, Shana, wait, you want to browse? One of the things about... Or not. Yeah, one of the things about the helicopter. Oh, sorry. One of the things about the helicopters is um, we we used to run the rope over a block, um, a wooden block in the helicopter, um, and there'd be a hatchet there. We called it the dope on a rope, rope technique because we didn't want to kill everyone in the helicopter if the guy got tangled up in the wires. Mm. I was just telling Kelly to use a different browser, use Chrome or something. But yeah, uh, urology is right. She, he, he says gravity causes the electricity of the wire to discharge through you to the ground. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, this is this is of, of Steiser loving to just argue rather than just go. Oh yeah, I don't know anything about this shit. I'm just gonna listen to people. <laughs> you know, fuck. The thing that got well, me it, a little frustrated earlier was like, I'm like, hey, wow, I'm learning something, and Sty kept butting in. I'm like, damn it, I, I want to learn this. I, I know. I get to learn something. Damn it. It's it's even worse than it's even worse than you think. We're, when we're uh, when we're blasting the water up there, um, the worst case scenario in a, in a full flashover would be um, much of the electricity would try and escape down the metal reinforced hose, which would explode in a massive steam explosion, probably killing the entire crew. Yeah, that'd be sucky. Yeah, yeah I, I, and, and I was also going to try to get into things like the skin effect to Steiser, but I figured you know that would probably like just warp his brain to, to mush or something if you try to figure out how the skin effect works you know where the flow actually goes through in the wire you know in fact what is the current flow um, mr electrical engineer what is your actual current flow in the center of the wire um actually it, it so the skin effect increases when the um when the frequency goes up so mm -hmm. at, at, at like 50 or 60 hertz where we move electricity around um the only real reason why electricity tends to go to the outside is we like to put steel through the middle to give the wire strength. Um, the skin effect doesn't doesn't have much impact at, uh, at 50 or 60 hertz, although we do allow for it in that case. Yeah, no, it does have some, but but the, but the actual core itself, if I remember correctly, 
the actual flow of current at the center is not due to the skin effect, but it actually is zero. Yeah, it's it's like a, um, I guess it's the opposite of a pipe. Yeah. You know, and, you know, it's so funny, dude. It's like, you know, when when I learned about electricity, because again, I was a Radio Shack store manager for six years. I had a ham radio license when I was 13. I actually loved electronics. And I kind of wish I remembered more of, than I do about it. But um, I, I, I look back and I go, you look at, you know, we learn things like, okay, voltage is, is your is your water pressure. Current is the is the movement of the water. These are analogies we use, right? Resistor would be a valve, which uses a restriction. Um, things like that, right? Capacitor would be like a, a tank. We use these analogies because they work conceptually for the most part. It doesn't yeah, mean... Yeah, they're pretty that, good. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Differential and potential is is, is, is actually the math, as you know, because you've done this, Bill, the math is the same with, pretty much. Whether you have a potential of, of a gravitational distance between a high body of water and a low body of water, right? Or you have potential difference because of voltage. Yeah, it's pretty much identical. You know, it's yeah, it's potential. Yeah, the math, yeah. math is extremely similar. You end up using the Laplace transforms. One of the big differences between pipes and wires, of course, though, um, you'll be aware that um, all of the pressure um, on the outside of a pipe is is uh, tangential to the to the flow. Yeah. Um, well, th there's two things on that. One, the 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 pressure on the pipe, like you said, is is actually like you said a 90 degree vector. Um, is pushing on the walls of the, of the pipe. And there's actually a pressure law that's called Pascal's pressure law. And I had this thing memorized verbatim in nuke school because we had to memorize this call. It goes, the pressure exerted on an enclosed fluid at rest will be transmitted equally and, equally and undiminished throughout the fluid in the walls of its container. Now, through a moving fluid, it doesn't exactly hold true because this is a fluid at rest, but still you have a pressure exerted on the walls. And you have also what's called laminar and turbulent flow. So nearer the walls, you have this nice thin layers of steady flowing water. And then as you go more near the center of the pipe, it gets more turbulent. And that's based upon what's called Reynolds number. Um, that's not analog analogous when you're dealing with electricity. right? You don't have laminar and turbulent electrical flow, right? Um, so that's where, the, that's where the analogy would break down. So when you're talking to these clown car posse people, They'll look at this analogy and go, oh, yeah, it's exactly the same. But no, 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 we, we understand the discrepancies. You know, I remember them. And I, you being an electrical engineer, you know them. But this is, the, this is the difference between people that actually have wanted to learn about a topic and then people just want to bullshit about a topic. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just very, you notice a difference. That's all I got to say on it, you know. You know. I um I, I think that, that the amazing thing about electricity is, is, and metals is that whole acting like one big atom thing. I, I just well, it's some metals. Yeah, blows me away. I, you're, you're, and you're right on that. Um, it actually the quantum state of it is such that you can literally treat it as one particle or one one atom. Yeah, is that cool? Oh, totally. Well, and it gets really crazy when you get into a um a superconductor. And suddenly, electricity is a short range force. It's just mind bending. Yeah, the whole superconductor shit is just when you look at like uh, you know like superfluid cooled Bose Einstein condensate or something, and all of a sudden you see it literally defying gravity. You're like, this this shouldn't be. This 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 is counterintuitive to say the least. Um, let's see here. Urology says usually the more electroactive the metal, the easier it tarnishes. Yeah, because it oxidizes better. Um, let's see here. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Eh, life he's kind of died yeah. so so um the reason we use um that we we get away with using aluminium despite the fact that it tarnishes really easily um the reason is that aluminium oxide is uh, only the surface of aluminium tarnishes um uh, the it builds up a really good oxide and so we can get away that might with be using a good thing despite though. the fact yeah that might be yeah it's a good thing actually because if you correct me if i'm wrong um, i'm not but the aluminium um because it produces a small oxide layer, it actually protects it from the environment, and it keeps yeah, the internal, it does. It keeps the internal from actually wearing down the 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 uh, inner parts. Well, it's ridiculously strong, I and mean, that's what the whole. That's why they use sintered aluminium on on planes. Uh, the aluminium oxide is just insanely strong, and so yeah, it can make strong, these yeah, very, mm -hmm. very very strong yeah. plane bodies. But, but without... it's funny that it, they're using oxidation to actually be beneficial, you know. Oh, Kelly's like, stop this hangout so I can watch the debate with Shrew. I thought you wanted, Bob. I thought you wanted to come in here, Kelly. 
Yeah, actually, I am. I am going to end this. I, 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 it's gone on way too long. Um, oh, we know who you're already. taking orders from now. Who, Kelly? I, I yeah. don't know. I'm just. Yeah, he said he. What he says, you know, I do is the way it is. But I will. I will say hi to the atheist Jew. He showed up finally in the debate. Uh, excuse me, in the uh, live feed. Hey, atheist Jew, go watch the debate with True. I'll put the link, um, in the live feed. Uh, he's rewriting this. So when you guys go watch this, uh, be sure to leave a comment. And by the way, the after show on my channel. Fucking hilarious. The funniest hangout I've ever been in my entire life. So make sure that you uh, watch the after show because it is fucking a riot. I was in tears. Seriously in tears. But, oh, yeah. Uh, it was great. It was goddess <laughs> hilarious. Tears. I'm not in line. Tears coming down my eyes. But uh, um, watch this debate and tell me what you think of this particular hangout here when I say that history is trying to be rewritten, that he literally has said in, in a um, video that he, he took down, but it was like, um, three hours ago now, said um, that he was being cut off and that General kept trying to, to to have him stop talking. So with that in mind, watch that debate and note any time that Ronnie was cut off or asked to stop talking, um, other than once he, he ran over. But that's normal, right? He, but pay attention how many times he was cut off and how, how many times he was interrupted because it never happened. Not once. Not once was he cut off. Matter of fact, General went out of his way to say, you have a lot more time. Are you sure you want to like stop this now? And you're going to see that this is the really the, the, the extent of his ability to debate was, was, was non-existent. He had nothing. Um, that says, is there a link to the debate? Yeah, I just put it. Yeah, no, and this is the, the I just put the link in the um, live feed. Um, yeah, the debate is in the live feed. Um, and then he actually, he ran away during the quick Q&A. Um, he didn't want to finish the Q&A. Hey, hang on, though. Is somebody going to actually be doing a transcript? I, I don't know. Because I'd really love a transcript of the part where he said, Jimbery, banana, bonobo, orange, Jesus, DNA, five straw man. And if you know what, if you said it back, I think if you actually, what I want to... Uh, <laughs> somebody might as well the, have. Somebody make the uh, transcript and play the audio clip backwards, and I think it's going to make more sense. It might. Yeah, it was surreal how how fucking ridiculous his comments were. And then he he goes back, and of course we knew he would. Oh yeah, Steve didn't talk about anything. Steve was was com completely off the topic. And uh, I'm like, oh god. I figured the point at which he literally just sat there jargon bombing for like ten minutes, or at least it felt like ten minutes. I think that's the point at which he realized that he was just falling apart. Oh, and you know, and, and everybody had told me afterwards, like, God, Steve, he was flailing, and it was clear he was failing, flailing. He just wasn't. Um, he was he he wasn't for the shock of of, of somebody actually having uh, to present a, an argument to him that he had to refute because um, he's never had a formal debate. I don't think. Right? He treated it like it was just nothing, and I'm like, no, this is a formal debate. We're going to make it so. All right, go watch it, Kelly. Um, and, and Les, thank you guys. And uh, I, I'm just going to bring this to a close. Um, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, watch the debate. Watch the after show. And let me know what you think. Comment. and Because uh, there are some trolls on the debate link that are saying, oh, well, Ronnie won one. And yet everybody knows it's bullshit. It is such bullshit. Um, there's no fucking way by any measurement, by any standard, by any criteria that somebody could say Ronnie won. So please leave a comment on, on that video and let me know what you think of the debate. And I there appreciate might your support. Be. There There's might no. be. They be. No, no, no. If, if by winning they mean completely threw you on your off your game to the point that you sat there for a solid 10 seconds going, what the fuck did he just say before answering? Then they could call that a small win. Yeah, and I could call my I could call my dick, you know, like potato chips doesn't make it, you know, potato chips. I'm, saying <laughs> that I'm looking at a bag of potato chips right here. So whatever. I'm not very creative at this way tonight. So anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'm going to see you guys later.